Ray's You Know What Do podcast on Riotcast.com. Do I see any menorahs in here? Yeah. Where? Yeah, right there. We're looking at my new. You. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't You're my anyone. Jewish menorah. <laughs> Can you tell this fucking clown to get this camera out of my face? We have oh. to. What about her? I don't mind her. <laughs> All right. Like it. <laughs> and how did you get him? I forget. Who is he again? That's Mike. Mike? It's Mike uh, 2.0. That's new Mike. It's white Mike. How long have you been here? Is it white Mike or new here? Mike? It's whatever you want. I, I think don't it's know. new Mike. It's, it's new Mike. Mike. Okay. I, 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 think, I think Rich saw his rings and got mad. What rings? <laughs> he got Those <laughs> rings? Yeah. <laughs> you see his rings, man? Yeah, but he found his rings with a metal detector down yeah. Coney Island. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Mike, are you a comic? Yes. Yeah. Are you doing this so Bobby takes you to open for him? <laughs> yeah. You just no. came in today. Huh? <laughs> why just why just are you coming in? Neg- why are you so negative? I'm, why are you that's coming- a positive No, that's thing. not positive. It you're coming is positive. In, you're, you're trying to put his self-esteem on the no, line. I'm not. If I'm you're coming in, I, yourself- give you, I give you cookies. Thank you for the cookie. And then you're <laughs> it's coming- hard to look at that panic button on the top of your fucking forehead. <laughs> <laughs> I got a cut on my head, and I don't have hair, okay? Like oh, you. I'll fucking cover it. Put a I hat on or something. What am I going to cover it with? Makeup or something. I don't put I makeup, makeup on. I want to f- press it. Yeah, Ricky actually was like, makeup? Yeah, yeah a little thing, a little, no. little makeup. All right, anyways, uh, All right. I just want to get this out of the way. Let me get a couple right, things ahead. out of the way without you <laughs> fucking everything up. Now, I, 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 what the fuck is that noise? What is that? Oh, what the fuck are you doing, <laughs> Becky? I'm sorry. Are you watching a funnier show? No, it's you guys. I'm that posting a hard. video. I'm oh. sorry. I thought she was watching like skanks. <laughs> Listen, um, so we got this. I got this thing going on. It starts today. Everybody listening live, it starts today. If this is next Tuesday, or if this is Sunday, this is coming out Sunday, right? Mm-hmm. This is coming out Sunday. So you have two more, three more days till this Tuesday, uh, the 18th. Gift for kids drive okay i don't know who named that who named that <laughs> you named that that's what you told me it was called gift for kids drive yeah i did it's exactly what you don't ever let me name things <laughs> again <laughs> that's explanatory all right whatever it's the ykwd podcast gift for kids drive it's at paypal.me slash ykwd gifts here's the deal um, you know, we did the toy drive a couple of years ago. I couldn't get it together with, you know, all the stuff that happened a couple of weeks ago, but I did want to do something for kids on Christmas. So we, we're going to get me and my wife, uh, we actually going to buy ourselves personally. <laughs> this is why you're going to hell. <laughs> I told you, just let me get the reads out. Let me get the fucking reads I'm out. I'm catching up on my fucking... I hope, I hope it's forever. I hope it's forever sleep. <laughs> I hope I have to do... I hope this, all the, this money goes to your fucking funeral. <laughs> Listen, this is for kids, you cocksucker. I know that's nice that you're doing it. Yeah, do you ever done something for anybody else besides yes, yourself? I, I put I, last what? year. I can't even tell you how much stuff I put in. Kids sure for can. Me. You have a microphone in front of you. Go ahead. <laughs> you last year, I, well, no, because when you do something, if you brag about it, it's then it's self-serving. You Believe just you. already, you already did it. You already bragged about it. No, you because you, you said yeah, you're doing anything for kids. It's <laughs> <laughs> very unlike you what to not tell everybody what you're doing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I blocked him out. I forgot he was here. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't. Oh, you got a, a tattoo? What's that tattoo? Oh, I've had a, I've, He's yeah. setting you up, Rick. No, I'm He's not. Setting you up. He's move setting your, you. move he, your blouse over. Let me see. I, I told you. <laughs> no. I told you. I fucking Listen, told you. I love his, his kung fu. Is fucking. It's, it's can, amazing. It's dragon yeah. punch. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Listen. Yes. Me, for here's the thing with kids. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, around the not around the holidays all year long. You have to yeah. take care of kids. You have to do nice things. That's not the tr- that's not true. I have my kid I take care of yes. all year long. And for Christmas, I like to I, I, I have kids. I, I was one of these kids, not this year, but like one of the kids where I was in a, a place or a rehab or a, a, a lockup facility where you don't get gifts that's and your stinks. family's not around and you don't get presents and it stinks and it's lonely. And this year we're going to do for kids, cho- kids in the hospitals, the children's hospitals. We're going to get uh, these uh, activity packs you can buy from 5 to $10. We're going to buy hundreds of them. Ooh. And we're going to... What? 5 to 10 mm. No, we're going to buy hundreds of them. From who? From the, from the uh, listeners? <sighs> well, Let me read the ad. And if you <laughs> fuck... Just play the video for this retard. Oh, this retard. is an ad? Play the video. And I said retard. And I meant this guy. And it, and it goes with him. Action! I'm Santa. I can't hear I say it. action. 
You know, you're a helper. Hey, it's Santa, and I need your help. I need you to go to paypal.me slash ykwdgifts right now and donate as much as you can. Me and my little helper over here, we're going to be donating a bunch of Melissa and Doug's activity kits to local children's hospitals. What are Melissa and Doug activity kits? Secret Dakota kits. Secret Dakota kits. Scratch art. Scratch art. Sticker pads. Sticker pads. All kinds of fun stuff for the kids to do while they're in the hospital. Now, we're going to buy these with our own money, and we want you to be able to help too. So you can feel good this holiday season by helping kids that are bored and sick in a hospital. Go to paypal.me slash ykwdgifts right now. And it's only from today, the 11th, till next Tuesday, the 18th. And it's over. So go now. Ho, ho, ho. Dude. How was that? It was all right. My, but, uh... but what? <laughs> oh. You know, that's really good. Listen, here's the deal. That's this is good. your problem with you. That was good. That was good. This is the problem with you. You did great on that commercial. Listen, this is the, this is the problem with you. I took away my thing, so I thought I yeah, maybe I jumped the gun. You jumped the gun all the time. You're a jump the gunner, Voss. That's what that's, I heard. That's what you do. That's what you my, jump wife, at, my wife said <laughs> that's that. That's what I've heard. <laughs> and I'm the jump the gunner. I, I don't know how you heard it. You didn't have your headphones on. <laughs> that was really... Uh, you Will know you what? stop listening like you're a fucking spy in the 20s? <laughs> Put the headphones on. I don't want to listen to me. I can't. My, I used to take my daughters, and this isn't bragging, just to raise them right. And we used to go to the uh, kids' hospital, and I had them every year bring toys around Christmas yeah. to the kids' hospital. Because, one, you have your kids But you stopped do doing that. You, have, you didn't do it last year or the year before? Oh, yeah. I brought, oh, I brought a lot of stuff. I gave what'd a you, lot of stuff. Well, last year, what'd you give? I gave four... In, in Toys for Tots, or or they cl- were collecting sneakers, too, at my gym. I gave four brand-new pairs of sneakers, brand-new, uh, you know, over $100 worth of sneakers and some toys. And t- I always do it every year because you know why? We I, have a lot I of— I go into the hospital giving out shoes to kids with no legs. <laughs> yeah, guys, kids who can't walk for years— <laughs> It's not, it's not kids like, with no, the I'm, sickest pair of Jordan. I'm, I'm, tra- I'm trying to give him a fucking. I'm trying to give him a tic tac toe thing, something they can use in the bed. Well, my brother's wife is actually a nurse, and she right. says the best things to get them is like coloring books yes, and stuff like that. Books, where, yes, yeah. activity stuff. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, well, that's yeah. Cool. This this couple uh, makes these activity books for. <laughs> he had the shoes up. For ch- uh, for ch- yeah, that, that's what that's what Voss gives them. <laughs> no, no, fucking a, si- a size a size ten male sneaker that was used once. And I'm giving them activity books. <laughs> Fucking asshole. I can't, I, Anyways. Listen, they collect, they collect I, I, everything. Yeah, they collect everything. Some's for yeah, the they, homeless, some's for kids. Okay. Well, this year, I, can, you mind, can I pl- plug my thing that I'm doing? Can you? I like the whole Santa outfit you did. The video. PayPal.me slash YKWD gifts. Go there now. Uh, if you get a lot of money, donate a lot of money. If you got, if you don't, if you don't, it's five dollars. One of these books, these activity books, cost five bucks. We're gonna try to get as many as we can. We already have a hundred dollars donated. You know uh, what? S- I'm gonna s- give you the hundred you owe me. Put it in. <laughs> that hundred you owe me doesn't it, count. That's a hundred bucks. Count. Why not? I just gave a hundred bucks. <laughs> hey, not, <laughs> he's such a scumbag. Why am I a scumbag? It's, 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 it's literally you're just a piece of shit. <laughs> you're not. You owe me. Matter of fact. Put 80 in and 20, let's get some Joe's pizza. (laughs) (laughs) Plus that old counterfeit 20 from the past. Put that in there, too. Yeah, but that counterfeit you gave me. Oh, so now it's 80. So put 60 in. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I gave you the 20 back for that. All right. So anyways, go there right now. It's only till Tuesday to Tuesday. So the 18th, when we're done, because we're buying these books and we're bringing them down uh, ourselves. What are you doing for Christmas? Staying down here or going up to Boston? Staying here. I got nothing. My wife's going to be gone. Come to my house. My wife's going to be gone. I'm going to be come so for Christmas depressed. Dinner? Will you come for Christmas dinner? It, it, Why is it, your it, wife leaving you? They're going to Canada. They're not leaving. Why can't you go? Oh, I could because, go. I don't want to go. Can you not go to Canada? Yeah, I can, but it's her family. Oh, okay. I don't want to go. Because uh, they're four hours a north of Edmonton. I don't know how what he did during those times. <laughs> I mean, Canada's is strict. You got a great point. Yeah. <laughs> no, I never I never got. No, I got caught once with pot. And when, Let me tell you, when last time I went to Canada, they go, will you ever... They go, were you arrested? I go, yeah, when I was 18. I was on the FBI list from when I was fucking 18. Why is there nothing recording on this, please? Why is you this... didn't turn record on. Why is this not working? It is, it's working. Are you sure? Are people hearing? I'm getting... Every fucking week I get, it's too low, <laughs> it's too low, it's too low. <laughs> Every, how am I getting? Deep who's sending me... Ta- it's supposed to be on 16th fucking, and it's not. I'm oh. positive there. Oh, All right, I, I trust you. negativity. Anyways, uh, we laughable.com. We have that. We got to plug that. 
Uh, Can well, I just give you cash? No. <laughs> Don't I just me. hate signing up for shit Can and I, having to go do, through all Do you have thing. PayPal? Yeah, I guess. You got PayPal. So okay. just all you do is go to PayPal, go to that link on PayPal, right? Go there on your PayPal app, YKWD Gifts. Okay. And you can just donate from your PayPal. That right. you have to have a PayPal to donate, so it's it's easy. Okay. I made it as simple as I could it's for so people. So fucking easy. You just go to PayPal and you donate. <laughs> Rich is doing yeah. it. Yeah, please, please. If you donate, I'd be very happy. I absolutely. I'll make sure I tell yeah. whatever sick kid gets your gift. I'll show him a picture. <laughs> Ricky did. Ricky did that. Um, Laughable dot com. T- 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 tell him. Go ahead. Laughable.com, you can see on your... Ah, oh, I'm already mushing it up. Well, let's get the name for it, you mush. <laughs> you find all your favorite comedians all your favorite podcasts. Can I say something? Did you think you got mush because of your fucking face? I thought it was a whole ensemble. Jesus Christ, you got one fucking job and you fucked it up. Oh, it's not talking. Oh, what is it? To Don't write stuff down. Oh. We'll get right and talk. Let's get this thing going. I'm fucking busy. <laughs> what you got tonight? I'm going to go to my hotel later. <laughs> I got radio in the morning. I got to get ready mentally. <laughs> Two shows. Is that what the outfit's for? No, I just think he hits the treadmill at the hotel. <laughs> You're right. Got to get ten thousand steps in, son. Okay. <laughs> You're skinny. You don't have to worry. You're, you know, malnourished. You're in shape. Yeah, but the only way to stay in shape is to keep fucking on top. Not of eating it. those cookies. That's man. why I only ate half of one. You better you... looking pudgy in the winter. Oh shit! What? Did you call him pudgy? Pudgy. That's Who? worse than fat. Yeah. I'm not pudgy at all. Right I'm now, a little shape. bit winter. Hey, listen, first of all, these guys, <laughs> you think I'm working out to impress you? <laughs> I'm Apparently not, you are. You're getting okay. mad at him. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. One second no. he said I was in shape, but then he goes pudgy. I didn't know if he was talking to right me or me. Oh, I'm fat. I'm not pudgy. I'm past right. pudgy. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're past pudgy. <laughs> no, you're big boned. <laughs> boned? <laughs> you're dumb did. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, laughable.com. It's the laugh. Uh, it's the, well, tell, tell us about it, Michael. That's the top. Uh... Wow, you stink. What Just the... spit it out. <laughs> we got to go. What a fly by night organization you have. We have a great organization. As long as he doesn't talk. If Gabby was here, if I have Becky do it, fine. Uh, uh, White Mike, White Mike, go. What is it? Uh, laughable.com. It's the best app you can get on your iPhone to find all your favorite podcasts and comedians. Yeah. Uh, you can search uh, for comedians. And see uh, which podcast they've been on. You can see their podcasts, and uh, it's the best way to discover yeah. uh, comedians on podcasts. Because Ricky, you, people see you on mine, and then they'll go to yours, and they'll go to all the other ones you've done right there, and they manually do it. It's the best podcast app out there for comedians and discover new comedians. Laughable dot com. Get the app. The uh, Android app is coming soon. First quarter twenty nineteen. Hey, yes, and pa- hey, first quarter twenty nineteen, and, and at Patreon dot com slash Robert Kelly. <laughs> I got to This is why you don't get ads. This is why you're not getting ads. I'm taking. Yeah, but I'll take them back. I'm taking them all back. Okay. I'm gonna take them back. I'm taking a hundred dollars back for the toys. (laughs) 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 uh, Look at you. What are you doing? What are you doing? I called him Pudgy, man. He had to do it. Uh, He has to disrobe and show. It's uh, freezing in this room. It's you, hot. My God, you and my aunt, my wife have the same Don't ass. Step on your glasses, dude. Mm. Why would you tell him not to step on his glasses? Because then we have to hear about his glasses. No, we wouldn't. We'd have to just see him squinting. Can I get a? Is that Caesar salad? Um. So we got yes, we got patreon.com <laughs> slash Robert Kelly. I want to thank all the new members. I got a brand new one on one up there video that I shot in San Diego with uh, Chappelle Lacey. He's a young comic, uh, young black kid, big kid. Uh, He was uh, adopted by a white family, and he was a a professional cheerleader. Fucking really interesting kid. Very funny. Uh, And that's up there now at patreon.com. And right now, Voss's uh, Live from the Shed is up there. One of the funniest episodes we did. Was it good? I mean, you liked it? I don't. I don't we, Tell me a little you, more about it. <laughs> exactly. You want compliments? <laughs> you need. Do you need a hug? Do you want no, compliments? I think this kid, uh, Chappelle. What's his last Lacey. name? Lacey. I think he's got to go with a new name. <laughs> Why? Because this the name. His first name is going to throw everybody off. Chappelle. Hey, here Lacey? comes Chappelle, mm-hmm. and then people are going to go, "Oh fuck, yeah, it's maybe. him, not him." What do you think he should buy, Lacey? Yeah. Well. He's got a very interesting. He's a very interesting kid. I just the, the blind side, you cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, he had a, his father was in jail. He had an abusive stepfather, and then he wound up cheerleading professionally. And he's just amazing. What at you, it. For what? A football team? A basketball? He's a I, world champion cheerleader. <laughs> I swear to God, <laughs> his Raz are better than other people's Raz. His what? Ra. What's a Raz? Like the Raz. Ra. Ra. A Raz. Yeah, Ra. Ra. I know, but you made it fucking plural. <laughs> Raz. <laughs> I, I don't think is Roz. I don't think he does Roz. He does professional cheerleading. Oh, like type in professional cheerleader first. Yeah, right there. Chappelle Lacey skill video. Look, click on that. Oh, Look, this is what this kid does. He's, he's amazing. Ready? What's up, guys? It's man Lacey. All right, can we skip through this, this shit, please? Video. All right, here, highlight. Watch this stuff. Watch this. Oh, he's a genius. Look at this. What the fuck? That's I mean, cool. dude, that's, that's awesome. This kid's crazy. Yeah, but they would <laughs> what they would what that's great look at this i know i mean look at that he's into punk rock i mean he's, i like he, it is he a good comic he was really good middle or host he was i would say host middle oh uh he he did 15 look at those he's fucking ripped yeah dude i mean look at this kid watch this Dude, I mean, he's unbelievably talented, yeah. world champion. The night he's going to the championship, his brother is guts gets killed. Jesus. I mean, his life was fucking amazing, and here he is. He's a positive guy, sweet guy. Maybe we and is he trying to sell the story? I don't know, but he's. Maybe I got. We, I, I, I got mean, this, I, I fuck. I got a great <laughs> fucking interview of him. Yeah. <laughs> Patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. Go there now if Maybe you want to do some research. Did he some, still go cheer, or did know? he go go see his dead bro? No, he re well, he went and cheered. He went and won the championship. It was a Did fucking he? cheerleading Rocky story with Apollo Creed type esque. <laughs> you know what I mean? Tossing Apollo white Creed died there. at the end. Huh? Apollo Creed died. I that, mean, that's uh, the beginning. I'm talking. Um, well, we're talking about the positive parts, Rich. Thanks. Let's send him some toys. I hate you. <laughs> 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 Write that name down for the podcast. It's already been. Uh, <laughs> that has it. It was. I've been, Voss was on, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anyways, this kid I did an amazing, and it's on my Patreon. I mean, it was a great story. I could have spent three hours talking to this kid, but he was funny too. He was original. He actually talked about this stuff, like he talked about having an abusive stepfather. He wasn't up there just doing set up punch tag. Try. He nice. was literally talking about his life. And, when did his brother pass away? Recently? No, his brother passed away the night he was going for the championship. Oh, for that the, night, and he wound up winning. Where were you? Are you listening? <laughs> no, to the, put the headphones on. <laughs> because Juan, no, I don't like the guest. I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you come? Because <laughs> I got to kill time. I got a hotel. <laughs> and I heard there's free cookies. <laughs> <laughs> With bacon. There's no bacon in Buddy, the cookies. there's bacon in the cookies. I, there's no bacon. No one puts bacon in cookies. I'll call. I'm going to call the lady who baked them? Yes. Okay. Why would she put bacon in the cookies? <laughs> she baked the cookies. They're baking. They're There's ba no bacon in fucking cookies. Chocolate chip bacon cookies. It's a thing. P no, it isn't a thing. Uh, please, um, White Mike, bring it up. It's New Mike. Oh, White Mike. What is it? Let's go with New Mike. I say New Mike. <laughs> I say Mike. I say, let's call him Open Mike. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. He's not, you can't beat him. You can't beat him. You just can't. Yeah, he, like just shit. when he loses. Yeah, chocolate chip right there. Cho Look yeah. at the ingredients. Yeah, bacon, chocolate chip cookies. They're right there. And you, 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 you see the bacon in the cookies? You can see you the see bacon in these cookies, dummy. No, you can't. You I haven't just, even looked. I did look. Put your, I put your glasses that. on. There's no bacon in the cookies, but it's nice that you find. There's bacon. Do you eat, as a Jew, do you eat bacon? I don't, I, not as a Jew. I just don't eat red meat altogether, but well, you ate not it for religious purposes. There you go, right there, stupid. Let, let me see. That's a piece of bacon. <laughs> That's right there, bacon, dum dum. Yeah, bite it. Take a piece of it. It's bacon. It's bacon. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you, a fucking cookie investigator? <laughs> He's got bacon it. everywhere. T you don't put the bacon on the floor. I didn't put the bacon. Where's on the, the floor? piece that you pulled off? Oh, on the floor. Oh. <laughs> it's. I swear to God, I might, I might as well just bring Max in. He totally <laughs> faked just picking it up. No, I did. You it. absolutely First faked all, it. Did he one, didn't even touch the floor. He did a fake pinch. What a snake. What <laughs> the fuck? You've been shitting on me since I you walked in. You've been tacking. 
talking to me? I'm nothing but a big fan. I'm your now only Mushy one. Now Mushy Mike is on the floor yeah. picking up fucking He's bacon. He's here with his tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the bacon? Can I have the, put the in the back of the thing? No, we've been, Man. Been touching it. It's oh, bacon. Let's not put it back in the bag. It's oh, you're a piece of shit, Voss. It's, it's what's wrong with you, dude? Throw it in the garbage. What's wrong with you? No one's gonna eat this. We all picked it. I throw it, it away. What's wrong with you? Now. What are you? I'm. I have anxiety today. <laughs> I, I couldn't sleep. I didn't fall asleep till six thirty a.m. Why? Uh, my my friend called, good friend, comic. Let's not get carried away. <laughs> and she was like going through like some crisis. Your wife? No, a friend. I said. Oh. <laughs> my wife goes through a crisis every day she wakes up. But this girl, and then I hung up, and I'm going, holy fuck! I got more anxiety than she had when she called me, and I couldn't fucking sleep. Why? What? Your was wife your... is letting you take late night phone calls from female. I, first, of, first of all, I. I was sleeping downstairs because I watched two movies last night. So I she, stayed he up doesn't, to watch. He doesn't sleep in his bed. Once in well, a while, he doesn't sleep. He was up till six thirty. Yeah, no, but yeah. she doesn't like him sleeping in the bed. Well, I you slept really in don't the bed. Sleep in the bed? No. I slept in the bed Monday, and then I started <laughs> snoring. And she woke me up, and I said, "You know what? Out of respect for her, I slept half the night. And then I went downstairs yeah. to my they to don't the sleep couch. together anymore. She That's sleeps not true. upstairs. Don't start rumors. <laughs> you just said it. We started off together. Look, we have." Actually, we have sex, but I'd rather be on my own and and watch what? TV late at night. Listen, you're you're newly married, so you're into that. Hey, let's sleep together. But let me tell you, I've been married for eleven years. I <laughs> love sleeping with my wife. Wouldn't you rather I have your own? You wouldn't rather have your own bedroom? No, I well, your own bed. You have a full. No, bedroom. I'm trying to. Oh, I'm going to okay. get a new place where I get my own bedroom. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. It's called, Are you a, kidding it's me? called getting a divorce. No. <laughs> No, we're happy. That's we're she, happy. We have she's going to Canada. Everything's great, but people have... Listen, no, it's one. not great. I listen to your <laughs> podcast. It's great. It, not everything is great. A lot is not great. Well, yeah, but I mean everything besides that stuff. Oh, I mean everything? <laughs> well, that's marriage, but... <laughs> no, it's not. We watch movies together in bed. We fool around. We eat our snacks together. What do you mean, snacks? Please tell people about your dumb <laughs> snacks. You have snacks when you watch a movie, don't we, you? We've. I don't have a TV in my bedroom, or nor do we eat anything in the bedroom. There's no food oh, in the I, bedroom. Yeah, I, I eat it. Well, I have, but I have, a, yeah, how, how but you have a, you have an apartment in New York City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yes, okay. okay. When you have an apartment in New York City, you yeah, have you two guys rooms. Have houses. No, he has yeah, a we have a house. apartment. He can go into his living room. He's smart. You lay in bed. You watch your movie with your wife, and you have your snack. What's your snack? Well, the early snack or the later snack? I can't stand them. <laughs> the early snack. Them. It's <laughs> bacon. <laughs> it's, it's, I'd it's rather, like a, I'd like rather sit here and talk about, have Mike do laughable commercials <laughs> for an hour. Well, you asked me, the first snack I, might be a light kind bar, right. then we might have sex, and then the later snack might be like a, some olives and hummus on a plate. My wife said- In bed, you have hummus? <laughs> well, hummus doesn't get, you don't get crumbs from hummus. We're not smearing it on the bed. We get it in our mouth. What Bobby. are you getting it in your mouth with? What are you using to get it in your mouth? What do you mean? What are you using to get the hummus in your mouth? An, an olive or a pickle? Ha ha! I thought you get crumbs out of this, didn't you? <laughs> you know you use chips. No pita chips. No Bonnie. Uh, it, well, uh, Bonnie doesn't eat. Uh, what do you call it? What's the stuff? Uh, gluten. Mm -hmm. So they're gluten free and gluten free barely crumb. <laughs> and we eat over plates. We're not fucking. You know we're human. So you sit in bed. And, and it doesn't matter. Even if there is crumbs in bed, I'm going downstairs anyhow. So what's that? She has yeah. to deal yeah, with that, it. Me, that, at, least she, at least one crumb's leaving the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Who rang the bell? Yeah, who was that? It wasn't for us. Oh. Anyways, I just, I, I don't, <laughs> I love sleeping in my bed. I have a big, huge so bed. I, I like my bed. Five-inch pillow top. It's, I mean, it's a. What's, spent, a, what's a pillow top? You put it over. It's a uh, no. It's on. So there's the mattress that's like really big, and then on top of that they put uh, like a five I have a inch cooling one. It's like you know the hotel beds. Yeah, yeah. that. That's what I, I got. I think I have a cooling one. It like cools yeah. the mat. Okay. They have yeah, they yeah, have yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's I have dope. a ter mine's terry cloth. I like terry oh, okay. cloth. I got it's a like five. a towel. Yeah, they're fucking great. They make it's the whole it's a whole big difference. And I don't care how nice your bed is. Once you put one of those fucking tops on it, I didn't put it on. It came on with the bed. Yeah, oh, so yeah. It's mine. It's yeah, the one that comes with it is not as good as the one that's connected. The one that comes with it as the one. That's if you connected. get a mattress with it, it's better. Yes. Yeah. Well, the ones in hotel are the best. Yeah, that's, that's like I, I got a hotel bed mattress. Yeah, they're very expensive. But but the one I got. You bought so, it separate. Yeah, it's like five hundred fucking dollars, but it's so good. It was worth it. <laughs> yeah, no, it was worth great. it. 
Yeah, you know. I, but I love sleeping in my I love sleeping in my bed with my wife. I I wouldn't if my wife is like not me. Why? I like my own room. I because I snore. I don't want to wake her up and fuck her sleep. I come in late. Have I you tried them. anything? Like like yeah, all and of everything. them. Yeah, I've done really. them all. I fucking that mask you can't breathe that dries your face out. Then I tried. I went to the dentist a thousand dollars to get this thing to fucking. Then you lock your mouth up and you're like, you start to panic because you're all locked in. Then I got some other ones that you put in, but I keep spitting them out in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, you know, I fucking whatever. Mm. If I sleep on my stomach, I don't snore. Once I sleep on my back, I snore. I don't know why that is. Who knows? You might know. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, who's who's uh, Jeremy Howard Joyle? That's your, that's your Patreon shout out. Oh, that's why oh, we Patreon got a new sh- one. Yes. Oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, we got a brand new. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Patreon um, members that uh, do twenty five dollars or more. Oh, that's nice. And we actually have a ton of them, uh, which I'm excited about. Jeremy Howard Joyle. Uh, I want to thank you, buddy. Thanks for joining the uh, Patreon. I hope you like all the lives from the sheds, getting the YKWD early before everybody, the audio YKWD, in case you don't want to watch the video, and um, the new one that just went up. We've got a new live from the shed coming up this week. Uh, next week, I believe, with uh, David Bryan from Bon Jovi. Came oh. up to my shed, and uh, we hung out. He's so cool, that guy. He's the best. I talked to him for like an hour one night. Yeah. It's so cool, all the info and stuff he, went, he can he, tell you. He came to uh, down to uh, Uncle, uh, Uncle, Vinny? Uncle Vinny's to the shore. What, him and his well, wife. Well, he lives there. That's where yeah, he lives. He came down, we hung out, and then went to the yeah. cigar bar at, As- um, what's that fucking town? Asbury, Asbury Park. Park Cigar Bar until three in the morning, just fucking hanging out. He didn't, him and, can't, he doesn't smoke because of his voice, but we sat there and smoked bats, him and his wife, but you know Mo, what? Steve. You know, if you sat around with whoever and they were asking you a thousand questions about comedy, you'd be like, all right, enough ready. You could ask him anything about music and he loves talking about Lo- it. Uh. He loves fucking, like, I mean, he, he's, he, he's been with everybody. He knows everybody. He's... In Bon Jovi, so he, he, you know. But here's the thing, too. Him and his wife, it's like hanging out with just regular fucking Jersey people. Yeah. Except he's worth 10 gazillion dollars. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, he's the, at the end of the night, he's like, you just want to, you want to come just crash at the house? We have like 10 rooms. <laughs> and I was, I wanted, I, I. So was, bad, you want to say yes. I wanted to say yes. <laughs> so I want to sleep over. I want to sleep over. <laughs> but I wanted to, I was going to say, if I sleep, if I can sleep in Gabby's room. Because I wanted to Instagram from Gabby's room, listen, like <laughs> naked in her childhood bed, just doing Instagrams like her. Hey guys, um, tomorrow, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Uh, Is she that said, her parents? That's her parents. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's crazy. I'm not out in her. She, you know. Oh, I, I didn't know. I had no clue. That's fucking <laughs> Lu- wild. Louis, Louis Gomez dragged her out of the closet one day. What do you mean about her parents? We never really said anything. Oh. Because I, I well, didn't. Well, but wanna... she doesn't use her parents. No, she doesn't no, at, at all. I had no clue. No, at you all. Know, know. Not at all. She's the sweetest kid ever. She's a really good kid, and she's really talented. She edited yeah, the funny. last two. Like she her. edited your episode of Live from the Shed, and she filmed it. Right. Yeah, so very funny. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't spit on me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so thank you there, uh, Jeremy Howard Joyle. I appreciate that. Uh, anyways, give away uh, the thing I brought in. All right, we have these. We're going to give these away. What are they? They're, uh, take them out. Pajamas. Uh, they're. I did this thing last week. You, what are you, Mike? <laughs> What are they? Uh, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't really look at them, but I, I think they have a curse word on them. Like I, I did a in a. I did dinner with four porn stars last week on Amazon. It says "remove to fuck" on the front. And they're what are they? They're sweatpants, right? Yeah, they're sweatpants. It says "remove to fuck," and uh, they're XLs. You know what? Actually, just donate them to the kids. <laughs> can, can I bring them down? <laughs> They're going in the bucket. <laughs> we'll bring them down to the kids. Uh, who do you want to give these to? I don't know. Who wants give these? Give them to a caller. One of your callers would want one, them. It's one, from from dinner with Dan, Danielle or whatever. Right. You know, on Amazon. 917-261-6831 is the line. I don't know if it's on. Is it on, Zach? It'll go through to the Skype. All right, yeah, whatever. Somebody email Bobby, whoever wants him, take oh, him. Email, yeah, email me. Uh, at, uh, uh, what is it? YKW, 
YKWD producer at broadcast. You can't even get out the fucking. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Are you on dope? I'm tired today. Are you okay? Uh, what happened? I'm just really exhausted. From what? Walking up the <laughs> stairs. <laughs> Sitting next to him. Um, no, I just haven't been sleeping well. Why haven't you been oh, sleeping with your you wife? Too? Oh, you, you got divorced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but why, uh, why haven't you been sleeping well? I'm fat. Uh, Is it because you're fat? Yeah, but these last few days I had to tra- uh, travel a lot. My flight got rearranged. Yeah. Shit, so, how old are you? I'm forty. Forty? Yeah. yeah. What are you? Do- are you doing exercise? Are you working out at all? Not currently. Yeah. Oh, wow. I went back to the gym and I went back to boxing. Doesn't it feel good? Boxing is fucking great. How many times a week are you doing that? Boxing one time a week right now and the gym two. What do you mean by boxing? You have somebody, a trainer or you just hit I the go bag? to No, I go to Ardsley. Uh, oh my, I, think I'm, I think I'm getting, I think I'm dying. I can't remember anything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. <laughs> what do you mean you go boxing like they teach you? Title, title boxing in Ardsley. Yeah, title boxing club Ardsley. It's great. No, you walk I in. to do that. It's like a class. So they have the guy who te- taught today is uh, he's a real. He just fought uh, in Long Island at the Paramount last week and won. He's a real fucking legit boxer. He's a professional boxer and he teaches a class. And it's a lot of you know you know you warm up for around five minutes and then you do uh, hit the bag. You, you do you do rounds. You do rounds. Do you fight people? No, you don't fight people. Why not? Because I, we're not fighters. It's me and fucking a bunch of milfs. Yeah, but you <laughs> 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 fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> fucking punch some middle-aged Jewish lady in the gut. What the fuck's <laughs> wrong with you? Starts it. It's gonna help. Believe me. <laughs> See, I have you. You know what? What? I started stretching again too. Like, cause remember, like you're you're probably still loose. Like you, I'm not actually. You're not loose. I'm not, Your no, legs no, aren't no, that no, loose. No, not at all. I, I yeah. I but you sports, could get so. loose easier than. Yeah, I need to start doing something. So I started stretching again. Yeah. And let me tell you something. You don't know how fucking tight you are until you lay down and spread your legs out or try to bend down. Fucking, yeah. you know, you got, it's just. I'm very limber for a chubby guy. You should you sell are? that on Patreon. I would watch you stretch <laughs> for the minutes. Huh? No, I'd, actually, <laughs> I'd give a dollar a month for that. We don't even do our Patreon anymore. We're done. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just bored. I, here's the thing. We do a podcast, my wife and I. We do it in our dining room, just us two. We've done over 340 of them. Enough with it. We don't need the extra five or 600, a, a thousand a month. You know what I mean? It's not worth it. You need a if thousand you, a month. Yeah, I could use it. But <laughs> for the kids. A thousand a month is your insurance almost. No, it isn't. Well, it's half. It's half. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm for just what? saying, look, I'm not, look I, I got enough on my plate to worry about another thing. That's well, all. What do you have to worry about? Just doing another podcast, getting it up. Oh, you do. You were doing two. Yeah, we're doing two podcasts. Right. Oh. And we don't have all this. We just me and her in the fucking dining room. You can and use the studio anytime you want. I that told was, you that. And that's even more driving in an hour and parking. You know, listen. When we came in and did use the studio and had guests, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I think. And we, and I we, think your and we'll show do it would again. Be, I think you showed. Uh, it would once add another month. dimension to your show if you did it in the studio and had a producer. And no, but it's only once a month. Our our. What do you call it? Sounds like a lot of excuses. Our our brand brand is me and her. Just me and her. Yeah, I know. Her last podcast, our last podcast, she was so fucking funny. I wrote her, remember when you said, you know, have have a list of stuff in case you die? Mm Mm-hmm. You know, so I wrote a bunch of stuff, you know, the electric bill, the mortgage, Mm -hmm. what's paid, where the money's at, and everything. And then I got into detail. Well, look, can then I, explain, I got into detail. Stop, 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 stop. Well, let me explain what he did. Why is that a secret? Here's what happened. It's Ricky. three paces out the back door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go, to the, go have, to the tree with an X in it. <laughs> <laughs> and, I have 1,500 buried at the Laugh Hut in Louisiana, <laughs> in the back room under the couch. Listen, because, you know, well, my, my stepdad just passed away. You don't understand. When it happens quick, if it happens it quick. happened with my mom that way. It was really so fucking crazy, yeah. You don't know the uh, password to his, iPhone, his phone. You don't know. There's a lot of stuff that you didn't know how to do. And usually in a relationship, like my wife does a lot. Of, I make the money. She does the money. You know, she does yeah. the organization. 
you know, so lately I've been trying to learn a little bit about, let me let me learn about the bank, let me get the numbers, let me get all this stuff, because I don't want to have to fucking deal with this just shit. Just stand there, yeah. God forbid a fucking, uh, she gets hit by a bus, and it's just me and Max, I mean, terrible, but I wouldn't know how to do shit, and I was talking to Voss about it, and like, I, th- I thought Bonnie was the one, but it's actually Voss. I'm... Um- Pays all the bills. I paid it. Here's the deal. Bon- Bonnie and I have a business account Bonnie's together. the talent, and he's the manager. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, Bonnie has... We have our own... But, you know, the car the car deeds, you know, because the bill of sales for the cars, because all my cars are paid off. You know, the mortgage. So I, I left her all that, and then I even got more into debt. I go, debt. I, I said, you know, my stamp collection, <laughs> debt. <laughs> More to death. I said, my stamp collection, give to my daughter when she gets you older. There is no way you wrote that down. Well, no because, one's going to be running for that. Well, are you kidding me? Now it's already 25 years old with older fucking stamps. So by the time my daughter gets old, these are going to be worth a lot Dad of money. Dad died. I got the I ho- stamps. <laughs> I, hope, I hope the day you die, Bonnie and your daughter I lick them. I told her to give you something. <laughs> I hope they lick them and send invitations to your wake to a lot of people. <laughs> I say I left you something. What would you leave me? I told Bonnie. Wait, wait. wait, wait. It's very oh, funny. Oh, sorry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. What did you leave me? <laughs> I told Bonnie to give you. I have two. I'll probably give them to you before I die. I got two DuPont lighters, 500 a piece. You've I, been say tell- one, okay. I say give Who's one to you. The rings? On. Who does the rings go to? No, they, 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 with me and the fucking. Really? No, my kids. My oh. kids. What are you, King Tut? <laughs> <laughs> why are you, why you take? Why are you going to take Diamond Ring, no, you I'm fucking not idiot? Not my King Tut. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> I said, give you and Bennington each a, a, a DuPont lighter. All right, which one do I get, though? They're both the, exactly the same. Though. All right, now, why can't I buy one now? You want to buy it from me? Yes. All right. How much? 200 All right, bring it in. All right, but 500 I have, it, But no! They cost 500 I'll give it to you for 200 All right. It has to have a ding, though. But just wait him out, it's dude. Why are you going to pay for I it? Know. <laughs> I know. I know. He's 62. <laughs> I got to wait a months. year. <laughs> no, give me two months. <laughs> the way I'm getting the fucking... Bonnie was upset that you were writing this Are list. you sure this is well, written so down? I wrote her this list, and then I said, look, any Nike... Wait sne- about... I go, any I'm not ni- thinking. Thank you. <laughs> any Nike sneakers I have in boxes yeah. are worth... Give to the kids? No, they're worth <laughs> fucking... Those are worth... <laughs> Those are worth I want you to bring these to the <laughs> no, sick children no, no. over at Beth Israel. <laughs> Drop them at I the I know gym. they're a size 10, but you know what? They can make stuff out of them, like Listen. boats. Dude, <laughs> fuck. Know what the fucked up it, part about my mom was? And you said, like, you didn't know the password to your iPhone and the rest of that? Yeah. Dude, you don't want that. You don't want people to be able to go through your whole every conversation you've ever had. You don't want your wife going through that. I, I went yeah, through Yeah, if you want her to do the stuff on her computer, you just leave her the info. Like... You know, uh, Bank of America is where our mortgage is. That's where you go. She doesn't need to go through my computer. Yeah, she I think. Yeah, I but think. if you have, if you have a cell phone and it's locked, and then she can't get into it, why would yeah, she need to get into my cell phone? She's got because, her own cell phone. Because you, listen, I agree with Rich on this. I understand yeah. you agree with that, but I, I have a lot of photos on my phone of me and my wife and my kid. Okay, that, that makes I would more want, sense. and I don't. I you can have so, my phone. You can <laughs> look at my phone. Look at everything on my phone. There, you can. I leave yes. my phone open. My wife can take my phone for a week Is and it? use it. Yes, and me too. I'm no, not, no, not, no, not, com- not my computer in the office. Now she's got to stay away from that. <laughs> you burn that. Listen to me, boss. <laughs> you drive to my house and well, you shit, dude, piss, and burn it. You I understand wanna, me? I want to make the black a black one. It's a Mac Air. <laughs> Fucking smash it. After my mom died, I want an app that goes to the Apple Watch, yeah. right? And when your pulse dies, it deletes everything on your phone. Great. But idea. photos that you want to keep. Kill switch. Well, yeah. now, I called it death wish. Was your, That's what it would be. Was your mom, death wish. <laughs> was your mom married? That's a yeah. great and idea. And to your original dad? Or, yeah. So he's still alive? Yeah. So you don't talk to him? Not or? at all, man. He turned. He turned after he like. He, he turned. Lost it. He turned after she passed? He lost his what, mind, uh, yeah. Can you talk uh-huh. to me about that? What happened? Uh, I've never really. Uh, my mom passed and my dad, he met her when he was 16 and he went back to those ways. Like, it was really crazy. Like, what ways? What do you mean? Like, dog, he was dating within two months. And he stopped fucking with his kids. And he threw, like, my. I was on the family plan, like, on my phone with my mom. And, like, he knocked that. So I lost all the voicemails I ever had of my mom. Like, I lost every, like, it was fucked up. And then he started dating and he wouldn't take no for an answer when, like, he turned to my brother and was like, you got, and he kicked my younger brother out the house. So I had to find a place for my younger brother. It was crazy, bro. 
It was fucking nuts. Was he just doing that because he my was freaking out? My mom was like my best friend. <laughs> How'd but your mom pass away? Out. Her, the main that artery in her heart exploded, oh and that was God. that. So she never had a, no heart problems, nothing, man. It was crazy. Just a black widow type thing. Yep, that, that. that's what they called. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. How old was she? 53. Fuck. Yeah, man, it was fucking wild. It was on Valentine's Day, too. Oh, it was crazy. Recently, that was like a couple years ago. Two years ago. ago, yeah, yeah. No, oh, three years. It's about to be three years. Yeah, it's yeah, wild, sure man. So not, that's what is, is crazy about uh, when somebody goes quick. You know what I mean? It, like, dude, I, I I claim I have PTSD from it. I'm not kidding. Yeah, that night in the hospital and all that shit going on and everybody being there and me and my brothers were out together. We're never out together. I'm always working on like a Saturday or a Friday or a mm. Valentine's Day. That's a great day to work. Mm. And I like, I just, it was somebody's birthday. We were celebrating. We were out and my brother got a phone call while we were all standing in a club. It was fucking crazy. Jesus Christ. I'm at Uncle Vinny's Valentine's Day. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm literally about to cry <laughs> and you're a piece of shit. He's the biggest hunk of shit I've ever met. I gotta tell you, as my fans, please look at me. I need a close up of me. He's a piece of shit. I'm literally, no, I'm, I'm, in, good, I'm in tears cool right man. now. And this fucking guy, he's a hunk of shit. He's going to hell. There's no way around it. He should uh, sleep alone. He should be alone. You should die alone. You should die alone. Well, who dies together? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, Frank. Well, you, you wouldn't have to write a letter. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, you know, it's so weird because my mom, we knew she was going to die. She was in the hospital for five years with Alzheimer's, dementia. With what? You know what? Dementia. Bro, no, I had my mom thing, out at comedy clubs like two weeks before. I was in really? Chicago. Yeah, and it was like, it was the same year. I was on Nightly and the rest of that. So, like, life Wait. was fucking awesome. But life got, was flying, man. You got along dope. with your dad before she died, right? No, so what happened was pretty much me and my dad got to a place where when my girl moved from L.A. to New York, she was like, Ricky, you need to move out of that house. It's getting that bad. And it was an hour and a half out in Queens. It's by JFK. It's like a shit fucking neighborhood. God. And I used to travel back and forth doing comedy. He fucking hated it. I moved in with my girl within a year. I had booked Variety Top 10, fucking uh, uh, The Nightly Show, Master of None. So, like, everything was dope. Yeah. And that's when my dad decided to be my best friend. Right. And he showed up to JFL. Like, he just, like... And, to and Montreal? Was, yeah. And fucking, it was like, everything was perfect in life. And then mom died and it was like, it just went back to where we were. And, like, there hasn't been a good conversation ever. Did you ever, ever. Did you ever fucking flip out on him? Well, I, I flipped out, but I've gotten to the point now where I have now offered because he's a big dude too. So if me and him get into it, he'll put his hands on me, no problem. Like really? he's a big fucking dude, and right. um, he just and I'm at a place where I'm like, hey, if you want to do this, we need to sit down with a professional. I'll pay for it. I'll do this, da, 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 and he won't take that arm, and I can't yeah. go ahead and. You know what the good thing that. is? Can't. I'm gonna tell you something. I was never close to my parents. But it's going to bring you closer You're with not your kid. Your no, it's, it's going to bring it, you dude, closer it makes with me, your kid. It just, dude, You'll be my a, kid has just been like, and I've been did, saying this, and yes. it's really weird because when I did stand up, I did a lot of it for my mom before she passed. Like no. uh -huh. she loved me fucking doing stand up, mm. um, and I for like two years. And you guys saw me around those years. I was pretty out of it. I was doing some shit. I was like crazy, mm. and. Uh, since having my kid, I feel like I have purpose again. So that's like really fucking dope. You're, I'm so telling like, you. I felt like I was wandering for two years, man. Like not knowing what I was doing. You'll see the difference. Like my parents had like really no pictures of me growing up. I probably have 2,000 of my kids. You know what I mean? You'll, yeah. It, you just, you break the chain of dysfunction. That's what you do in life. You break the chain of dysfunction. Well, his mother was great, though. Yeah, well, my mom no, was. I know, but my mom, still was, like, my mom yeah. was unreal. You can't listen. I, well, I, I understand what you're saying, but... Yeah. It, you are you're gonna be a good parent, but you gotta understand that he's gonna be a good parent because of his mom. Yeah, yeah. But yeah what no, what, the, not... what his mom gave him is inside of him. He's not gonna be a good parent in spite of his shit dad. No, no, I know. I no, no, but no, it I does feel it to a bit. I, I Don't you I, think it feels it a what? bit? Like when you yes, you I, see I, something I, you saw your dad doing. You're and like, you God do the damn opposite. It, fuck. Yeah, but can I tell you something? More of what my stepfather. I'm realizing this in the last couple of years, and before he passed away. More of what he gave me, my the, you know, of being a dad that I didn't even know he gave me. You know, um, it just happens, and all of a yeah. sudden you're like, "How did I not do that? Or why did I do that? Or why?" And it's because of the stuff that when growing up with Larry and my five uncles, I have to say they were father figures too. Yeah, they gave Your me. You had five brothers. Five brothers. Wow. So uh, you you have that stuff in you. All the good stuff you got comes out yeah. i didn't get you, any of that 
Why? You're not a good dad. <laughs> I'm a great dad. <laughs> Ask my, I'll call my other daughters right now. I, well, Russ, it was a joke. Do I have to defend my jokes? You know, yeah, you? but that's. I would never say you're not a good dad. Uh, yeah, but I'm kidding. I know we all know you're a good dad because you tell us constantly what a great. I'm dad a great you're. dad. Yeah. What'd you get it for Christmas? I didn't know you Sneakers? were dad forever. <laughs> what? I didn't know you were dad for a long time. It was really wild. What do you mean? I don't. Know I just saying. didn't know about Max up until like two years ago. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Kept them under covers for a while, huh? Not really. <laughs> I, I, no, I was very, I'm very, I love being a dad. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I fucking love being a dad. Uh, and it was a lot. I understand what you're saying. The bad stuff, like I don't hit my kid. I try not to yell. Sometimes you have to because he's going to die. You know, he's going to yeah. fall off something. You have to. I, have, I yell all the time. I don't yell. I don't like to yell because I, I, it's, 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 it's easy for me to yell. Yelling is my thing. Oh, I know. The fuck does that mean? <laughs> Take it out on oh, him. Past episodes, maybe. <laughs> I'm working on it, cocksucker. Yeah. With Max, you don't do that. With Max, it, like your tone will change. Yeah, but you don't. Yeah, it's really. I was yeah, because you're weekend. an adult, and you shouldn't. Be, you should have common sense and not fucking be a moron. Here's what yeah. I want to know. Here's what I want to know. Hang on one second, motherfucker. No. <laughs> Bobby, cocksucker, uh, here, fucking abused, fucking victim. <laughs> <Hang on. laughs> <laughs> Here's what, what I want to. Does what do you he do know? anything here? What does he do? Oh. This fucking melon head. What is he? Which loving? one? The big me. right there. Oh, uh, big fucking. <clears throat> Mount yeah, Rushmore he does head. stuff. I don't know. I don't see him doing yeah, anything. Whatever it's... we. He sits there. Whatever we need. Whatever. Oh, I'm, he's a computer he, guy, buddy. You understand? He brings stuff up. He brought up sneakers. He brought up everything. He brought it as we go. He brings stuff up. Oh. Yeah, we're just we're in deep. We're in a deep conversation right now. I don't need him right now. Okay, right. So this is the problem with you. I just want to keep, no, keep on top of everything. <laughs> no, because you need fucking I keep on tin, top of everything. You need tinfoil in front of you. You you have OCD. All right, we're talking about this amazing conversation with Ricky and, and about being a dad and his father and about his mom, about people passing. And then you go, what does he do? Who gives a fuck? Why would you look at his head and wonder what the fuck he's doing? Because this is too intense for me. It, okay, that I will accept. I, I, Thank I, you. I, that could be something. No, he's that's uncomfortable. <laughs> Look, his arms are crossed. Absolutely, yeah. he gets. He has no. He, you do have a problem. He doesn't like to hug. He's he as a friend. Not you, dude. You don't like to hug your own wife. I hug. I hug my kids all the time. I hug them. You, you have a problem with emotion and connecting and intimacy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> No, you don't like. That's why you're a comic. You do not like to be intimate. You don't. You don't like to have a conversation like this. I know my wife. When one time she was in pain and crying, and in pain. No, I mean this mental crying. Oh, okay. And I was laying in bed. <laughs> and what's the thing that used to put in your phone? What do they call them? That used stylist. To, and I rub my stylus on her. <laughs> Dude, oh, she she's just waiting for your kid to turn eighteen. By the way, she's just waiting. I did it nice and smooth. I did it nice and smooth. Oh man, if she's waiting for that stamp collection, man, she fucking wants you dead, man. She, I hope she's I using the. Just, I hope she's using Bonnie, the stamp. I see her. She's always smiling. She's doing a good fucking job, man. I'm telling you, Ricky. <laughs> I, I hope she's using the stamp to send love letters to a, some Canadian actor. <laughs> <laughs> Better not be using no stamps. <laughs> They're worth so. money. Uh, just uh, stamp collection. What, the, what are you, Superman? Who are you? Who fucking is a stamp collection? I used to Peter collect them. Parker. I loved them. I used to love uh, my stamps. <laughs> I got some cool stamps. I'll bring them in. How do you? Did you do that as a kid? No, I started after my basketball collection, my basketball like, cards. So how old were you during your basketball collection? 25. Are you sober? Yeah. Okay. That'd be crazy. You're just doing crap. What's your most expensive? <laughs> 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 I, like I wouldn't be spending money on stamps if I was doing crap. Hey, hey, uh, ha, I got an air, upside down airplane. <laughs> <laughs> Give me five grand. <laughs> it's worth $300,000. I, I got a letter. I, forget what, I got a letter from I forget what president. It's written down at home. <laughs> With a, you know how to <laughs> I, put a, I put all the stamps. Stop, stop this. No, listen to this. I listen to this. You stop this. I got a letter. I got a letter with the, with the president's president stamp on Jefferson. it. Jefferson. 
<laughs> with the president's stamp. You know how they stamp it with a seal? Yeah, a seal. seal. Yeah, we know. It's not. A, it's not a famous president, but I have one it's from a president. president. It's, it's one of those I have unknown it at home. presidents. They're all pres. They're all famous. They're you famous. idiots. They're not all famous. Name. What's the president? I said I don't know. I'll bring it in. How do you not know? I don't remember. Was I remember it why is he writing you? Yeah, I mean, my no, father no one cares about Tyler. It. My father right. had it from some reason. Oh, okay. And he gave he gave it to me. Uh, I got some cool shit. I got a. He do- wasn't famous. <laughs> All presidents. How many presidents? There fifty. How many? Fifty. Uh, forty-five. Many? Forty-five. Okay, so forty-five. There's only forty-five presidents in the history of presidents. They're all famous. <laughs> They're all famous. No. No, they are. They're all famous <laughs> because you can bring up the presidents. Look at them all. All right, scroll down. Which was it? Any of those? I'd say a lot no, of the middle ones. Like, no one cares. No, about. it's like old. Okay, so how old? That's probably worth well, money. Wait, you're seventy. 60? 60? 61. 61. No, but it's from my five. I, I'm going to bring in. I'm going to bring in some cool stuff for you to look Grover at. Cleveland? <laughs> uh, so I wish it was William, Grover Cleveland. William McKinley? There's somebody like Taft. that. Chester A. Arthur? <laughs> it was like, it was like Hardy or Arthur. somebody. First of all, it's Chester. actually Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> some, <laughs> some, guy, some guy that <laughs> fucked it up for everybody. Oh, Lincoln. Uh, look, at, uh, look at James Buchanan. His yeah, fucking you, you really think anybody knows who the fuck he <laughs> hey, is? Well, was a Buchanan. Sorry. Look at. Wait a minute. Where's the? Uh, Buchanan. Chest- I said Buchanan. <laughs> 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 I said, you got it. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Don't. You can't hit me twice with the same joke. He already hit it. He did. Got, yeah, he already got the juice off of it. Okay, sorry. All right. I'm sorry. He I hit me. You. He was quicker than you. He you was. stole his joke in front of us on the air. Yeah, he was quicker. It's the first time he was quicker. <laughs> he got it. He got me. I said, what did I say, Buchichanan? Yeah, I made him. A, I made him Italian. I love it. <laughs> Buchichan. <laughs> James Buchichan. Buchichan. I'm not a fucking idiot. Uh. Anyways. Like, no one knows Ruther B. Hayes. Yeah. Yeah, they do. He was one of the presidents. There's a lot of people that can name all the presidents. It's it's a fact. I bet you our president can't name all the presidents. Of course not. Of course not. not. <laughs> yeah. I don't think Obama could either. Yeah. There's people. I'm not saying the presidents. Um, scholars. That, scholars. Yeah, I think... I think. Um, how old's your kid now? Three months today, man. Wow. 9-11. Wow. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's wild. Yeah. Now he like sees us and knows us. It's tight. Yeah. I always say that men... Uh, it takes a while for men to bond with their kids. It took me, yeah. and we had a nurse there for the first month. Yeah, so like I was really not needed. Yeah, you're not needed, but you and, you uh, a boy, right? Yeah, yeah. You're so dude, you're so lucky, dude. Uh, and Why? every comic this summer had a girl down at the fucking cellar, so I was so afraid I was gonna get Who? one. Uh, let me tell you, I have Hassan, three. Dov, uh, Saifa. Um, Lenny Aaron Berg, like yeah. that's four right there. Doesn't Aaron Berg? Yeah, have Berg a girl? has a girl. Yeah, so, like, I, I have, was. I did dude, not. Have, my family doesn't make girls. Having like. a son is so much if for for you. Yeah, it'll be fun. as a dude. It's so much cooler. Dude. I'm just buying toys already. No, I want to play with. Dude, we, we, <laughs> I remember we were in Belgium and we were walking around and he was he was just like, Dad, let's go for a walk. And I was like, Ugh. And we just walked and hung out. We went to a museum. We walked around. We were fucking being goofballs in the museum. And, you know, if it was yeah. a daughter, she'd be like, let's go look at these flowers for an hour. No, that's bullshit. I had three daughters. My old George, I took him to Tahoe. You we went on throw speed your boat. Own gender we went on under s- the fucking bus. Speed <laughs> boat. I didn't hear what he said. We went on speed boats in fucking. We're well, here for your drug deals. <laughs> yeah, in Tahoe. <laughs> uh, Bobby's talking about going to Belgium, seeing museums. We did speed boats. I, I took we're my old. Tahoe. I took my. I we're took, on Lake Placid on a ATVs. lake boat listen, with, with fucking, Tommy Lee. Listen, you humps. I took the other one to Amsterdam. I took the 11-year-old to Amsterdam. Well, she was about six at the time. I took her to Amsterdam. I've taken my kids all over the place. Right, buddy. I just traveled with my kid for the first time. Yeah. How and, long? dude, people look at you like a fucking asshole with a child Does the headliner the get mad when you bring in the baby? Oh, that's funny. That's you didn't use that got. joke three times last week. I, never, I wasn't here last week. Were <laughs> <laughs> Va- you not? I love Boss's excuse that he's not, he knows he used it before. He goes, I wasn't here last week. <laughs> that's, that's not he was, I used it maybe a month ago. Hey, well, <laughs> you were here last Would week. Would you uh, take your kid? <laughs> <laughs> you were literally on the show last week. Yeah. <laughs> We oh, did yeah. the show, and then you went downstairs. Uh, yeah, how come you didn't come up with this guy that was up here? I got asked not to, and I think it was the better reason. Yeah. Well, Are you friends with him or no? no? no You're not no, friends no. with him? It's just, it, it was hey, just Can weird. we stop for a second? Because yeah. Voss does this. He just brings shit up. Nobody, like, so, if someone didn't see last week's show, yeah, I'm not going to no get back into it. Yeah, well, here's the deal. What's his name? I don't uh, I don't want to even give it to him. What's his name? Right. I know Al- I Alan Fuchs. Alan, why would you not? I'm going to get it. 
What do you think? You, I'm just going to listen to you? <laughs> No, he, he didn't want to say it because he's in a not Listen, good man. Like, he doesn't right, want to so. get back into the controversy. Yeah. Absolutely. So Alan Fuchs came up last week. We were going to have Ricky and Alan because I guess Ricky and, and, and Tim Dillon were trashing and, and whatever. We brought him up last week. We tried to cancel because you were here, Billy were here. It just would, it was just it's uncomfortable. It, it was, and, he, and, he, and, and he showed up before I just think we it's weird cancel. that me and him had a full conversation. We're okay with one another. And then he still pressed coming on, contacting fucking producers, Bobby, and the rest of that. It's just like, dude, like, let, let it rest. But whatever. Yeah. I mean. I just remember him, I, I mean, literally telling this great Patrice story. And then him going, I got one too. Oh, right after Billy. He couldn't <laughs> fuck. I know. And it was like one of the greatest stories of Patrice. I was like, that was so, we all laughed. It was a we could end. Just, all right, guys, see you next week. Yeah. And he goes, I got one. I go, let's, I, and let's I literally not. Bobby, said, you're going to have to bring him back on to defend himself. I literally, <laughs> no, he won't. I'll fucking, you're right. <laughs> I, have to bring, I have to come defend my story. That was I bad. literally, I told him, I go, you're going to follow a Patrice story? From really? He goes <laughs> from Billy. He goes yeah. He goes. He goes oh, he goes, Billy uh, told it. Yeah. 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 Fuck. It was like I go. I killer. tell you, you're gonna do this. He goes. I'm gonna try. <laughs> I think I might make it. At the end of it, we were like this. <laughs> oh, I literally wanted to fucking jump out the window. There's no windows up here. There's three windows behind that curtain. You fucking oh. dumb dumb. <laughs> So yeah, it was. Uh, it was. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know the architecture of this fucking room. It's been covered with your fucking thing since I've come up here. How's our podcast doing on your network? Do you understand what I'm dealing with with this guy? <laughs> it's, it, I, you, have you ever been tested for ADHD or anything like that? Or fucking autism? <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you have it? I have everything. <laughs> you have autism? No, I don't have autism. Are you sure? No. <laughs> No, sure? I don't have autism. I'm no, fucking, he's not autistic. I you just a, got to that age where you just don't give a fuck. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Why do I give a fuck? I have nothing left to prove in life yeah, or this business. Awesome. I have nothing left to prove. I I said to my friend, I've why, done why everything. Don't, why do you think that you don't have anything to prove? It would be awesome to... What? Well, but in comedy, because I've yeah. done enough in comedy where I've put my... where I've And so has he. I've, I've left my mark I in mean, comedy. I mean, you're putting the ceiling on your own career. No, no, but I'm not saying I'm stopping. I'm just saying I have nothing to prove. I'm still trying to create, but I don't have to. Those rings can be bigger. <laughs> I'm, getting a, I'm getting a bracelet next. Uh, I hope you get robbed. Huh? I really do outside. Why I they're insured? Yeah. Are they really? Yes, yeah, of course. Come on, man, it's jewelry. What are you fucking kidding me? I don't wear jewelry. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I, have, I have a Breitling, and it's in the house, and I only take it out when I have Why don't you wear a Breitling? You would look good on it. I love my Breitling. It would look I, good on you, I mean. I don't, I don't, I wear it on occasions. It's not insured. It's not. Yeah, you should do it. It's, 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 it's insurance. like 25 on your, bucks on your home insurance. It's in, right. Yeah, you just show it on your homeowner. And then they give you a higher number, What's too. home insurance? Your, your homeowner kidding. insurance. <laughs> 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 My I, wife's rings, everything is insured. Your stamp collection? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> somebody's making a call tomorrow. <laughs> Selective? <laughs> I, <laughs> Or my baseball cards aren't, basketball uh, cards aren't insured either. That stuff didn't get burnt in the fire? No, they were in a safe. Oh, so the safe was fireproof. Yeah. The house is completely burnt, but you're standing there. No, no, off. also, too, the fire was really, it's more, our house didn't burn down. It was smoke damage. Only one wall burnt up, but the whole house got smoke damage and water damage. Oh, okay. It didn't burn down, just one wall on the outside, but the whole place Upstairs was wrecked from smoke damage, right. and then downstairs, they fucking, let me tell you, after the water came downstairs, within a week, the couch was full of mold. In one fucking week, yeah. it just fucking molded up. Yeah. So, it was more water and smoke damage. Mm. But, uh, mo uh, like, I have trunks with all my papers in it and safes. Trunks? You know, a <laughs> trunk. A trunk? A trunk. No, I don't know what a trunk. Like you the, bring a one trunk. to like college. Did, look at the end of your nose. <laughs> a trunk. Uh, well, I have a very cute nose. A, a trunk. Why would you fuck? Oh, because I'm an elephant. <laughs> that was a great one. Yeah, it was. I don't want to explain it. <laughs> I don't like that I had to explain my own my own fucking fat joke to myself. <laughs> A trunk like that, like one of those. Oh, okay. okay. See, that's what I do, Rich. <laughs> that's what yeah. he does. Okay. Those aren't fireproof, are they? Uh, the, I have a metal one. Oh, okay. I get like one of these. Yeah. 
No. Well, for when know, you go on tour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> on his fucking on his steamboats. <laughs> well, I'm working the vaudeville clubs with my kid behind me, staying behind the stage. We used to do gigs that we had to stay. Like I did a gig once in Lubbock, and our rooms were behind the stage, in a and lot you're locked in the club at night, pretty much. What? Yes, when? there's a club in. Lo when I first started, I was working, and you stayed in these. Fucking Hang on, why are you shaking your head? Oh, the loony bin in uh, Kansas is like that too. Like what? Like what he's describing. Look, tell me what, like what, like there's a. You stay behind the comedy club and you can't leave because the security system's on and it'll go off. <laughs> I that's that's fucking, illegal. That's, that's illegal. That's, that's prison. I did, that's I did, I did, positively, I did a club. Once. That's illegal. I like did. you can't. Like if if you need to go, you have to go. If there's a what if something happens, you oh, have I mean, to leave. Fire, you can leave. But I mean, no. I did a club. The Anne Franks of comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. Just, just rich hiding up. I was, comes down right onto stage. I fucking wrote. I was staying at a club once, and there was like one entrance in. There was no windows in the condo, so if there was a fire in that entrance, oh. you would. And I worked Nantucket once. Did you ever work a place? It's called like the, the nicest place in the world. Where where did you sleep there? What do you mean? Like you, Nantucket, where you they jumped the gun. Oh, yeah. This was years ago, Nantucket. We so this did is when they discovered the island. This uh. is, <laughs> yeah, no. this is <laughs> when they discovered the island of Nantucket. He worked. actually wrote the song that once was a man from Nantucket. I, I if he had a dick, he would suck it. I worked a club called The Muse. It was a rock club. Right. So rock bands would stay in there. But the bunks, it looked like Auschwitz because they were just wooden bunks. Looked like what? Uh, Auschwitz. Auschwitz? Yeah, that's fucking. That's the name of it. Is that? A, is, I thought it wasn't. Isn't it pronounced differently than that? No. Like, okay. Say it again. No. <laughs> <laughs> but you're a Jew. You know how it's supposed yes. to be pronounced. Yeah. So the new mic. Is it pronounced like that? You ready? At McDonald's. Oh, first, <laughs> At McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they knew that, where we that's were. That's a weird. <laughs> that's a weird. That's a weird commercial for the. Pronunciation of Auschwitz. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> da, 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 All right, here we go. Here we go. Ready? Is brought to you by pronouncenames.com. Here we go. Ready? Auschwitz. Auschwitz. Yeah. Auschwitz. Oh, Auschwitz. Not off switch. Yeah, yeah, it's not yeah. off. Not oh. off switch. What did you say, Auschwitz? Well, you said Auschwitz. I wish we had one on your fucking neck. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> Jesus. All right, tell us about your fucking club. Which one? <laughs> oh, <that> one. <laughs> okay, we got to move on. So we stayed in, in <laughs> we did this club in. This is like talking to my grandfather. In fucking Nantucket or Nantucket, one, Martha's okay. Vineyard, one of those places. And it was, you stayed, it was a rock club. Yeah. I worked there with, uh, I think, Dennis Leary and some other guy. Really? Yeah, it was years and years wow. ago. Wow. Dennis wasn't even, he was doing sports comedy. No shit. He sat on the chair and he talked about sports. Yeah. This is probably his first year, maybe my second year. Whatever. I was a multimillionaire living in Bedford. Now. Yeah. yeah, he lives <laughs> 20 minutes away from me in a mansion next to Martha Stewart. And you're fucking here with me. Okay, I'm happy. Oh, good. Uh, you made your mark. Me and you. He has both. nothing to prove. I have nothing He's to prove. You made that very clear. <laughs> I have nothing to prove. You, you know what, though? You really don't, boss. Yeah. You've done, you've, you, you, there's so many, if you statistically look at the guys that have been doing comedy with him and as long as him, they're gone. They're done. Oh, he's. And they're not they're, doing it. And consistent. But, he's consistent. But he's still one of the, and I'm not saying this because I know, you know a lot of shows have him on and fuck yeah. with him and then say, but he's funny. Literally, one. Of, I've never seen somebody kill like Voss kills Dude. after anybody. I mean, just Thank it's you. a fact. You fucking murder. I mean, Thank murder. You. I don't want to follow this. I'll follow fucking anybody. And I, I fucking hate following this. I mean, I've done it a bunch of times, but and he'll follow me too. So it's he is. I mean, right Thank now, you. fucking murdering. Thank you. I listen. It just sucks that what is what they're looking for it's right now is fucking insane is not is not exactly it's not yes, I like mean, we got some good projects going but let me tell you bonnie does not you no, but listen we, we. <laughs> i mean listen let me they're say, really into bonnie. <laughs> bonnie bonnie's on fire she's on fire they she's love doing bonnie. It tonight show yeah. again yeah she comedy central you know it's so uh, they love I'll, bonnie I'll tell you after. they love it and last week we made brilliant did, did we make the yes thing? what 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 was on 
I think I said to her, you know, it, I take a Viagra and she doesn't have sex. I'm going, somebody's paying for this pill. Right. <laughs> and that led into her talking about right. the life insurance policy she right. has on me. Yeah. Whatever. But Was I on it? I didn't watch it. Somebody told me. I didn't, oh. I didn't uh -huh. see it. But we, first of all, me and you did the table twice and yeah. we both made it on TV twice. Right. Uh, she's well, because been on I, show. Yeah, she's great. You know, and, yeah. and she's always been great. Yeah. You know. Anyways, um, there you go, right there. Uh, did I do that or you do that? What? It's you. you. Oh, you did that? Yeah, I did that. Boy, did I lose it on you guys that night, on her. He, uh, in the oh, middle, listen to me. <laughs> this is so fucking epic. That's why I love comics, because we're so fucking demented. <laughs> We're at, look at this table. Look at us. We're all yeah. happy. Look happy, right? We're filming. No, Rich doesn't look happy. <laughs> <laughs> Rich does not look happy in that picture at all. He, Ricky, look at Bonnie we're, and him. Look at her. You can tell they're teaming up on me. We're not, no, this is his, Ricky, this is his paranoia. No, this is his fucking paranoia. Ricky can Ricky, see it. Ricky, Ricky, we're, ha we're sitting there. We're exhausted. It started at 11.45. We're both in our 40s. We're all in our 40s. Well, 60s. Me and Bonnie are in our 40s. Right? We're, I'm tired. I'm I'm we're doing this thing. We're trying to get through it. We're trying to set... The, this, the, the producer was not the best one. The week before or the time before, this guy knew us. He was a fan. He was. This guy was doing his job. Not yeah. a bad guy, just fucking doing his job. Mm -hmm. He was coming up, hey guys, can you try? And we don't work well with that. No, and no. he wasn't laughing. No, he wasn't no going, That's they funny. weren't laughing. It was, you know, it was, Yamanika was killing at her table harder than us. You know and she I mean? wasn't yeah. even doing it. She I, was just yelling. I, that was the point of the fucking joke I just oh, said. Oh, okay. Anyways. I don't, I don't know if I consider that a joke. But go ahead. Uh, so we're sitting there and we're trying to do it. Voss... I, I, I told him he was talking and I wasn't I wasn't listening. I was staring at his hat. I was out of it. I just wasn't I was trying to let him talk and not step on him. But I was we were trying to get through this and be funny. And it was fine. We really we were doing better than any other table, I could tell. Because we're funnier. And then out of nowhere, this fucking kid dude, he it's on tape and he's mic'd. This dummy forgets that there's a mic on him, right? He goes they 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 did cut for a second for something. And they were, we were right back and they were talking. He goes, "Fuck you, you fucking both you guys, fucking ganging up on me." What? The fuck? They and were she ganging goes, up. She goes like this. She goes, "What? What are you talking about?" I'm sorry. He goes, "Get off me! Don't fucking touch me! I'm fucking, oh, I'm fucking. I'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it later." <laughs> I mean, no, I was madder. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. I mean, I want this <laughs> videotape. <laughs> Velez, I yes, want this so bad. It. Get it. Absolutely get it. This yes, asshole was so mad. Me and, Bo me and Bobby can do this. I've never seen him actually get mad. Me and Bobby can do the table. Anything together. I've never seen me Bonnie, Bonnie cower. Could. Bonnie went, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm so Here's sorry. Uh, listen to me. And just it's true. Pretend Ricky. it's your wave and Ricky. she's a comic. Okay. She went like this. She was, I'm date sorry. I, don't, no. I didn't mean to do anything to you. What are you talking about? No. I didn't. No, and I, no, no, I was no. like this. I was like this. You don't understand. Like, what the fuck? He was like, no. fuck both of you. <laughs> you fucking <laughs> no. assholes. Ganging up. Look, like you're they, a team. First of all, they were ganging the crack up. Crack addict. Anything I said. <laughs> anything I said. Anything I said. You're the guy that just ripped him a rock? <laughs> no. Fuck you. Fuck. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, that one. You fucking assholes. You fucking clubbed him. You guys are. You guys are fucking ganging up on me! No. Like my father and my mother! I'm a good dad! I give sneakers! Let me. Okay. <laughs> First of all, oh, man. anything I said, they would just stare at each other and not laugh and play it off like we're. Be like, Bonnie had the attitude. Bonnie had the Bro, attitude. The Bonnie had the fucking attitude. Like, I've, never, I've never done that with my shoulders. <laughs> I I've never. I can't. Because you can't. I, uh, you know, I said it first. <laughs> fuck you. I got the fat joke at first. It wasn't Sorry. fat. It wasn't fat. I was doing exercise. <laughs> because Bonnie's on the show and she's great on it. Yeah. I done it, and she was acting like, "Who's this open micer?" <laughs> and I'm like, I would never throw under the bus. But anytime I say some something semi funny, they would look at each other and like, "Ugh, right." And I was going, "Oh, this is pissing me off." Right? Dude, snap. <laughs> so like, Ricky snapped did. on camera on mic. <laughs> I mean, literally, I told them fuck, both she, went like, themselves. she went like this. She goes, honey, I would never. She literally tried to go, I'm sorry. He went, get the fuck off me. No, I know, no, no. We'll I talk about it later. First of all, and then he goes I like said this. It. You
you cunt. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally. Right. Daddy, he's right. Daddy, 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 Daddy. <laughs> yeah. That comedy <laughs> seller back table, <laughs> man. <laughs> he gri- no, he grabbed her leg under the table and squeezed it. She went, <laughs> you cunt. <laughs> I almost shouldn't give her a ride home. No. Oh man! But if she had a, have you ever seen him lose it like that before? I uh, yeah, on me. <laughs> no, no. I, that's how we met. You don't know that? Oh, no, yeah. dude. This cocksucker. You know he's a dick, right? No. When you first meet him. Yeah. Oh, he was. Yeah, easily. Just when I got worst. past, he was easily. I was, the, you and Tony Woods were probably Tony Woods. The, Tony not Woods Keith gave Robinson. Me a, no, Tony gave me so much shit when I first yeah. got past. Really? Yeah. Tony awesome. doesn't seem like that type. No, he's great. He, he he's, fucking piece of shit. Now look at I'm friends with Burr. Patrice, Dane, uh, Bob Molly, uh, and then I become friends with, you know, of course, Keith. I'm friends with Keith, and then uh, Jim Norton, and he was the last fucking piece of shit, and he just treated me like a piece no, of shit. I didn't. Yeah, you did. So we're at the table one night. <laughs> yeah, you did. No. We're at the table one night, and he said something to me. I said something back, and what had happened? You took my pack of cigarettes. Yeah. And threw him across the room. Yeah, because we used to smoke at the table yeah, downstairs. Yeah. We used to smoke. First of all, no, before that, we were outside. He was driving by, and just jokingly, I threw a piece of cardboard in the window of his car. He got out and heaved it at me like it was a fucking slate But, but, but he didn't do it as my friend. Yeah, he yeah. did it as a as bitch. guy that doesn't talk to me. He went like this, either. yeah, fuck no. you. Like, you no, know, you did. Because we no. weren't friends like that, yes, right? Yes, I think we were kind we of. We were friends, but we were. you threw it at me, so then... And I, it just, whatever it was, escalated. So I then, threw cigarettes. So then we're sitting at the cellar, <laughs> and whatever, arguing, and he picks up my cigarettes and throws them across the room. So he I- He fl- picked up the table. <laughs> no, I flipped, flipped. No, I flipped his- Oh, my wings, my his wings. wings in his lap. Oh. <laughs> Get the fuck out Buddy, of yeah, here. And we were full sauce, to- <laughs> full ranch. I fucking stood up. You motherfucker. We're screaming at each other. But then we started laughing, didn't we? Because we're like, what are we going to do, roll around? We just started laughing. He has a lap of wings. This is fucking great. <laughs> and I have broken cigarettes across the room. Oh, man. But that then, ever crazy. since then, we've been he's been one of my favorite people in the world. I don't know what happened that night. But ever it's since a, then, what? It's also, too, it was the attention of all the other guys instigating us, too. Oh, you know that we terrible. didn't just do it. People well, back instig- in the day, dude, it, the table was rough. It yeah, was I can, like, uh, it was, I, I've heard, yeah. Now you sit down, it's like, hey, how you doing? Good, how you doing? I heard you Ugh. got that thing. I did. Did you get that? I got that thing. Ugh. We all have things. Back then, nobody had shit. Billy came in one night. Oh. I tell the story, man. Billy came in one night, and we're sitting here. It's me, Patrice, yeah. Norton, Bobby could have been there. So it's when the Metro I was I was there. You were there. So Metro, was my roommate. Metro were playing the Yankees in the World Series, right? Yeah, yeah, World Series, yeah. So Billy said, Oh, I'm going to the game. And we go, How'd you get tickets? And Billy said, These guys have a bus trip and they hired me to do comedy on their bus and are giving me free tickets. So our eyes lit up once he said he was doing comedy on the bus. Uh, an hour <laughs> later. Billy said, Patrice was doing bits like this. <laughs> You guys were great. <laughs> like he was no, we were all holding the handle. <laughs> <laughs> we, were doing, we were doing this. We were holding the handle like, hey, guy, hey, dude, in the back by the bathroom. And we were like, we, we, had, we did the bus oh, driver, hey, behind the yellow line. <laughs> we did it oh, out. Fuck. He was sitting at the bar and we sweat threw, was pouring we, down. This is back when you had tokens. I remember how bad Before the Metro car, we were throwing tokens at him. Remember? We were throwing tokens. When I first got into comedy, I remember I would I would never co- I never came to the cellar before I was passed at it because I was afraid of you guys. Yeah, you should be. <laughs> I yeah. actually watched Godfrey oh. make a girl cry once. I made I saw that Patrice make it. Remember, it was unreal, what? bro. <laughs> the girl, you were banging. <laughs> I was in banging. That's why we I made her leave. This, this <laughs> we girl, did. <laughs> this girl, I went on a couple dates with her. Right? Yeah, this but he, he brought her to the table, which is fine because I was there. Totally fine. We were all there one night, Kevin. I won't bring up Kevin's name because he's in a little heat right now. Yeah. Uh, who is it? Uh, Keith, uh, Pat- Patrice, me, Norton. And he came down with this girl, whatever. And we're fine with it. He leaves, whatever, the next Saturday or next whatever the I'm fuck I'm on the is. road. Right, he's on the road. She comes down and sits at the table. Without me. Doesn't say a word. We're all sitting there talking, blah, blah, blah. And then out of nowhere, Patrice goes, um, <laughs> um, 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 <laughs> um, you uh, are you are you giving boss pussy? <laughs> are you giving any pussy? And she's like, "What? Are you giving boss any pussy? You giving some of that pussy?" She's like, "Um, no." He goes, 
all right, well, you are you going to fuck any of us? you going to fuck it? <laughs> and she's like, what are you talking? No. Uh, you got to go. <laughs> and Keith was like, Keith was like yeah, 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 you're out. You got to go. You were Donnie Brasco then by by Voss. You gotta, if you ain't giving up some pussy to Voss and not, not here, you got to beat it. You can't just sit here. The other she night, called he, me dude, crying. Dude, listen, we did it. We were laughing. So we kept going with it so much. We kept laughing. And she was just sitting there. All of a sudden, she just turned away. She turned around. If you don't want me, then I'll leave. And we were, the whole restaurant flipped out, like dead silent. And we were all like, Woo! <laughs> <laughs> get the fuck. It was so bad. He called. He called. He's like, what'd you guys do? Call me crying. I'm in Nantucket. <laughs> I'm in Nantucket. I'm trapped in the room. I couldn't make it. It was, it was so. The other day, dude, Keith had one. He was going back and forth with one of the waiters downstairs. I walk in and I'm like, I see Keith. I was like, I go, how was your Thanksgiving? And the waiter goes, he, it's a girl. She goes, he was alone. No one was just, just shitting on him. And she's Spanish. And he turns to her and goes, at least I wasn't on the uh, caravan, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. Dude, Let me tell you something. Patrice, cried, uh, tell you Patrice something. and Keith are the fucking meanest people I know oh, back man. there. Patrice, Ed, we were sitting at a table. And Eddie F. walks up and he says to me, how much you make at colleges? I go, I don't fuck. Whatever. He goes, well, I make this. And Patrice lit up going, who the fuck is this? He called him Eddie Uch. No. <laughs> <laughs> he, did. he did. I'm telling you, in oh, an man. hour, he said you work at P University because <laughs> you stink. Oh, dude. Like, but he did an hour on Eddie mm. No one else could say anything because Patrice, mm. me, Norton called me driving home and goes, he goes, I can't stop laughing. Oh. Patrice beat Eddie oh. down so bad. It was He didn't come back for months. He didn't it was like so, months he didn't show up. It was like it you was little f- rich motherfucker he was calling and no. just it was br- it was uh. so funny. But yeah. brutal. The table oh. was fucking brutal, but now it it's, was fun though. Like, the table's over though. It's but gone. It, it's fucking. But done. we were so close. It's group it's so chats fun. now, man. It's group chats. Yeah. That's where everybody oh. talks their shit. Well, it's so funny. Even like I mean, look at the shit with with Kevin. I mean, remember back in the day in the front, we Bro, used to roll dice. We're downstairs. talking about a guy, a black guy from Philly, that beat all odds, mm-hmm. became who he is, and he's the guy holding people down. Come on, I can't stand Nimesh it. Patel. Was somebody that's holding Nimesh Patel? Mm. That name is holding people down. Yeah. It's insane. We're we're, we're but I, I heard uh, actually Ross said it the other night. I thought it was pretty cool that who? Like, Jeff Ross. I know uh, he. Who's that? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh that guy. Yeah. Somebody ahead. said what? He said who? he said no. He, he we were all talking about it. And he's like it's coming. It's, it, what's cool about it is that like comedy is becoming like the new drug that you do that you don't tell nobody. Like going to see shows is like something you wouldn't. You who don't, wrote that for him? I don't know. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Bonnie. I'm only kidding. Uh, Bonnie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. <laughs> Wasn't gonna let that go. I am. Um, listen, no, man. I, I, Listen, it's fucking ridiculous. It's and scary, the fact man. that Kevin said, you know what? Go fuck yourself. I'm not apologizing for the rest of my life for the same thing because he already apologized. It. And he said it perfectly. If you don't think we can evolve as human beings for some fucked up reason that comedians especially or actors, can't, we, we don't get to evolve. Like we no. can't, we can't criminals can everybody else fucking can drug addicts can Steve alcoholics Howell, can Steve Howe had seven chances Steve Howe for the Yankees got caught with coke seven fucking times it's just, it's it's fucking mind boggling to me that you you can't you you're holding somebody to a, as soon as somebody gets something great there's a fucking small group of shit shit people out there garbage fucking people call themselves liberals too by the way call them that that fucking are hiding under the fucking liberal banner and they attack them the 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 the, the I I talked to I immediately called uh I have, you know, I have a bunch of friends that are gay, and I have a bunch of trans friends, and I called them up, and I was like, wh- "Where are you on this?" They're like, "Yeah, none of it's bullshit. Nobody, a small percentage of the gay community gives a fuck about that, but they, m- most of us, don't give a fuck." It's I no, mean, two thousand nine, you're still being held to like they don't want to see you change. What they want to do is they want to be upset. It's not even about 
changing anything. Well, it's no, about being upset. They're fucking. The ca- motive is to be the victim. And you don't think yeah. the academy knew about this before they hired fucking them? Fucking academy. When is one of these corporations, one of these big, huge, money making fucking thing that fucks people over forever? I mean, that's what they make money off of. You're, you're accountable. When are you just going to stand up and go, you know what, fuck these people. Fuck this. It's this many people. There'll be a network that do, does it sooner or later. I can't there wait for that There will be a network that, do it, that will say, fuck it. We're going, we're so going double down. It's fucking crazy. That's so what sick of it. That's tour is going to be. What? The most offensive tour on the planet. What, with me, you, Ron Bennington, That's and Jim Florentine? That's the you got to shorten that up. When well, is that, when is yeah. that date? Something. Find that date. Where is that? Well, we Philadelphia, do it's something. in Philly. We got to do something that... It's in March, right? Yeah. It's in March. Do something... And and not saying to go up there to be yeah, offensive it's at the to be offensive. Keswick just, Theater, and that's the date, and it's up. It's March eighth. We're at the Keswick Theater. Me, Ron Bennington, Jim Florentine, and and, uh, and me, Rich Voss. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm right here. Uh, I fell like up at the table last week with me, you, and Bonnie. <laughs> well, but the thing, Kevin used to sit at our table, and we used to beat him down. He used to beat us down. I mean, he oh, came up here with Keith. And it's so all. funny though. It's you know what the fact is too, is that it's like oh we're gay. Guess what? Every guy I know is gay. <laughs> we're all fucking. Let me. You get me in a fucking. You get me in the right situation. I'm gonna put that thing right in my butt. Listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> and every every guy I know, every guy I know in this fucking room in the right situation is gonna fucking. Fucking <laughs> stick it right in your asshole, okay? And gay people know that. Gay people ask trans girls, trans girls, how macho guys are. They're not. The They're ma- happier people. Who is the gay community? Well, that's why they call them gays. No, um, I mean, look, I understand that it's what what happens to them. And so, look, we have to we have to take it with you. Know, we have to be real realistic. We're on the coasts, so we see stuff. There's still south in the middle of this country. Yeah, that, that you can't be who you, you can't are. Who you, you can't be who you, who you are. You can't be a Jew. I understand you can't that. Be this place is in New York, man. Huh? This place is in New York. Yeah, but there's like, very, but there's more places oh, in New York. So yeah, I mean, yeah. we're talking. I understand I mean, that. Being but, gay in Alabama is probably a lot harder than being gay in New York City. Uh, being gay uh, in another harder, country, they so, can, they'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> so dangerous down there. Your dick's just <laughs> solid hard. Um, yeah, but <laughs> fuck this. It, it it makes me sick. But that Kevin Ke- was right. Though. Kevin Hart. Okay, was the most po- he was like up there with the rock, Bro. motivating people. He changed everything. He fucking learned his lessons, and it's he's a, one like, of the good ones. He's the guy that comes in and says hi to everybody in the club. Except make for sure, me. pardon, except for me. <laughs> one of the goes, good what ones, as in as in <laughs> colored. What? Oh god. <laughs> no, I mean in comedians. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> A lot of them are fucking shit like you, Rich. I thank you. And I'm not even famous. <laughs> Ricky, no one was saying that. First of all, your grandfather didn't with the word colored. He can't say that. His oh. career will be finished. First of all, Kevin Isn't that funny that even if you like he'll say that, nobody's gonna fuck with him. He'll but if you said that, if you jo- even if you're joking around, you get something, Ricky, you get a TV show and you're bombing it and it's it's going great. Somebody would find you on this show saying colored, people laughing at it, and try to take you down. Yeah, I every say, every I, year when too. SNL happens and they bring somebody onto the cast, there's a full thing every single year. Every year, the new kid gets attacked social through social media. You know, I was joking to, when I said that, and obviously, we well, look, and I don't apologize. But here's no, but this is what the tour is going to be no, like. I got something You're going. Do a bunch of jokes I got something and then going. Then going on. <laughs> I got something big going. <laughs> and Bonnie does. No, we do. I'm telling it's a, you, it's a more her thing. Well, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> Wait, you here? Well, yeah. Anyhow, no, stop. I, I, I'm sick of you teasing me. This is a new oh, one today, God. baby. Good news today. Oh, you like those? They oh, might I sleep to, together. I was like those famous <laughs> for two hours. He's like those so famous snoring. Those famous comics, dude. I can't wait to tell you guys the big news. Not yet. Shut the fuck up. Just We're tell friends. us. We tell each other stuff. Just tell me when you tell me. Stop teasing me with it. I'm not teasing you. I'm not. What the fuck? Stop it. <laughs> I want to show you something too after this. What did you just do the shoulder thing for? Because I'm just. <laughs> since we're talking gay. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, 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 think, I, th- no I, I think we need to fucking. We need to start saying fuck you. Uh, I mean, as, as a comedian, as comedians, we got to stop worrying about, oh, um, I, I, what if I get this and what if fuck you? 
Well, that Fuck was that you. thing with Fuck I did that, read that, the girl's that. point of view from uh, Columbia College. Did you read her point of what, view? Tell us. I don't remember it, but it was. I, I'm on Nimitz's side. I'm always on the comic side, no Say matter his what. Name again, please. <laughs> huh? Listen. Say his name. Nemesh. Okay. He said off switch. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't give it. Look, he's fucking. So you, know, you think he's gonna get hit? Your pal's name right? <laughs> yeah. Listen, I worked. Twice. I worked on many projects with him. I, yeah. I've given him rides. I get, I like him a lot. Right, tell us. And I'm always on his side. But the girl who wrote her art piece about yeah. what happened, tell us, did have a good point of what view. What was the point? Well, go three read people it. coming on stage with well, live you... mics is an attack. Like that's What's insane. That? They walked on stage with live mics in their hands. Yeah, that's, that's what, what did you get from me? I mean, I, I'm not kidding. What I got Next time I do a college, I'm putting that in the cro- contract that that cannot happen. Can I say something to you? I, 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 like if you read an article and you had you 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 got something out of it, wouldn't you remember it? He just remembers how it f- made him feel. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> That's how he takes in shit. But yeah, that's all I need. He doesn't gain any knowledge. He just knows how he feels towards things. First of all, he's <laughs> right next to you. <laughs> I'm not, listen, I'm not going to fucking sit here and re, re, I just read it and But go, you brought it up like was So yeah. you bring everything else up. Bring it up and you read think it. I, you think I, on the podcast right now, I'm going to read a fucking article. Read some of it. <laughs> just tell me what you think it was. What were the points? Her point a view was he was hired to do one thing and some of them some of them listen people as much as we think you it's didn't not finish listen the to me no i am i'm finishing right as much as we and and and, and what's his name said this as yeah. much as we think it's not offensive yeah they also have the right to think it is offensive okay That's but you don't have to, her article actually goes into like what but, comedy is supposed to be yeah and he wasn't don't, really being a good comedian he did that. work no you that's don't, bullshit you that's don't, bullshit listen you i don't, said i agree with some stuff go I, ahead fucking voss Go ahead. God damn it, you make me <laughs> fucking angry. Oh. How the fuck are you taking her side at I all? I didn't take her side. I said she had some good points. But she has no fucking points. You didn't read he, it. Here's the fucking fact. You didn't read it. Here's the fact. He made a light-hearted joke yes. pro-gay. You didn't listen. You heard the word black, and you fucking hit the panic button, and you ended, tried to end somebody's fucking career. Fuck you. You don't get to do that. It was yes. a pro-gay joke. Yeah. It was, it, she heard trigger words yes. and these fucking sissies, and I'll say it, I, I, I don't, I'm going to calm down. It's wild. It's scary. I'm gonna calm it's, down. it's ridiculous. I'm going to calm down because I'm being triggered. I hate it. I hate it. I'm being Quit triggered. Quit saying that word. But, but, the, but this is the thing. <laughs> the, the... <laughs> Listen, here's a, Ricky, I'm going to talk to you. Yes. <laughs> it's the fact. How do you that, feel about all this? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. You don't get to... Okay, you can tell me... You can write all the fuck you want, but you're trying to assassinate people. You're trying to say... You're trying to say he did something that we thought was offensive, and it wasn't. And you're going out, and he made the fuck... You tried to take him out. You tried... Now, a story goes... Which he he was... He was over... He was... He wanted it to be quiet. Of course. He went quiet. He didn't do nothing, and then it of starts course. coming out, and it comes yeah. out from their side. Yeah, it comes out from their side. He, because, he turned down interviews. He turned yeah. down. Yeah. And here's the thing: is that these fucking assholes, they they try to assassinate people with words and the social media because they have the power. And you know what? Fuck you. Well, he, but yeah. it, it's like he it's made like him. How a, how how is this? Your thing, like, how is being this upset and a victim a thing? Like, it's uh, just such a crazy. Please don't go I'm to college. Fuck colleges. Don't go. Fuck them. Listen, I do them all the time. I do them all the time. And I do a lot worse than what fucking Nemesh says. young clubs. I do a lot worse at colleges. I've never I know. You're not as funny as him. What? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I thought you were talking. I thought you were talking about. I'm sorry. Okay. What were you saying? No, I listen. Do you understand, Bobby? Here's where you're going wrong. I'm always 100% behind the comedian, no matter what I like him or dislike him. I'm just saying she had a couple valid points. What was the valid point? I don't remember. Then don't, I, then, then it, I, I think I know what you're talking about, Rich. There's you a line right but there. But you so. can't bring it up. Listen, I, Voss, that's like me going, I mean, you can't say she had a couple valid points. Okay, what were they? I don't know. Remember? I, I, I don't remember. There's one sentence that he's right, referring to. Go ahead, Mushy. Like his, re- his routine was the antithesis of what culture shock stood for. I get that. 
but you should have done a better job in hiring the comic if he's not the right thing for your festival. And then, but the rest of the article is he's a terrible comic like, and he's bad for comedy in the world. Like that's I don't think shit. he said he's a terrible comic. In the it article says right I read, there. I it made says, a really different article. It says, listen, it says right there. Some may argue he was making a comment on society, racism, homophobia, which he was. But for whom? I watched brown a brown man use the. Ex, uh, experience of black people to make white people ponder and laugh while two of my gay black friends cringed. Uh, uh, are you are you <laughs> out of your fucking mind? Yeah. So when when you when a white guy when you're making a a male alpha male jock you make that joke it's fine. So oh, yeah. So that's fine. You guys can all laugh at that shit, but we don't get to laugh. At you and in that joke, he wasn't. It wasn't homophobic. It was. It was saying how no. tough it is. I mean, for break- a black and gay guy, a black gay. Yes, we yeah. get it. I'm sorry. What? I need to use the restroom. Oh, please. I, Anyways, I, we gotta wrap this up. No, I agree with you 100. percent I don't I, agree with any of this. They're using their 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 fucking spinning it and making it a tragedy. And uh, my two my gay black friends cringe. White white. Look at this. Look at these. It's identity politics. It's I. It's all about what you look like. It's all about this. He made a joke on how hard it is to be black and how hard it is to be gay and black. That's the joke. Here's what she was saying that I, I remember. Kind of. And, and, and I don't agree with this, but I kind of agree. It's hard. Yeah. She was saying, who are you to make assumptions on another race and person. You're, I'll tell you who we are. I'm a comic. Yes. I am a fucking... I'm, I'm, that, I'm, hasn't li- that hasn't lived that I life. I don't need to live your life to know about your life. I, I, I agree with that, I too. I don't need to be fucking uh, a full-fledged gay guy to talk about gay sex. Not at all. I don't need to fucking be a woman to talk about woman's thing. Women can talk about me. We're human beings. We we judge okay. people. We see things. We experience things, and we make jokes. Our our I uh, the, the fact that we take an idea and we present it, and it has a little edge to it, and it and it bring. What do you want? You okay, go. But what here's, you, what you here's want what fucking saying. Tonight Show, clean holy shit comedy no, all the fucking time. No, no, no. Here's, fans now. here's That's the how difference. I think about it. Like, Bobby, he doesn't want any of those kids as his yeah, fans. Yeah, but Bobby. It's for him at the end of the day. But I, somebody, I, listen, but Bobby, I, I'm here's just, the difference. I'm just worried about it because somebody yeah. is, the, these fucking people, I don't understand why the majority voice, we're, we're bigger than them. It's not the majority some, though. Th- if you actually go talk th- to the people, no. it's, it's not the majority. No, it's 14% listen, of people. Guys, like, that's exactly what I'm saying. Why aren't we telling them to shut the fuck up? Why are we so lazy? Because the why, big money cr- uh, crumbles why, to them, dude. Why are we voiceless? Why do we never get behind? Why is the why are we just sitting there watching the fucking world implode with a few thousand people making it happen? Okay, here can I make a point It's a to big you? enough blog uh, Listen, post. You are in Bonnie, trouble, man. Yeah. Bobby. Insane. I'll be Bonnie. Bobby. Hey. <laughs> Bo- Bobby. Canada. Yes, you can talk about gays. I'm against you. Can't you can't talk about all that stuff that you see or know. Yeah. But you can't feel the pain that a gay guy has felt in life being discriminated against. It's a different. Mike, it's is a that pain. True? It's what? a pain. Is that true? <laughs> oh, because I'm a gay guy. Yeah, you. You yeah, like it? Yeah. No. <laughs> As a black person, you can feel. You can talk right. about it, but you can feel but the pain. Progressive rich is killing me. This is I'm fucking not, insane. I'm really, I feel no, fucking no, 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 part of He's on Buzzfeed in- next week. No, I, he, he, this is because he has something going on with his career right now. No, no, and he's no, no, trying, no, no, he's not trying, at all. Can no. I finish? Go. He's trying. <laughs> listen to me, Ricky. He's trying to, you know, kind of. Just keep everything nice. Can no, I go I'm up not, against what you're I'm saying? Good, Can I just I'm say something? Good. Wait, wait. Well, Becky no, had something to say. Listen, go ahead, Becky, say I'll, it. I'll, I'll, Let I'll, Becky say okay, it. Okay, go ahead. Let Becky go. I have a point. You have a point. I got a good point. I got a good point. Okay, that's great. Remember it, you old geezer. Go ahead. I don't know. Maybe this has been asked too often, but isn't part of being inclusive making fun of everyone? Like, everybody should be able to. We're not saying you can't make fun of people. I'm saying how people feel. When I was in rehab, Okay, Put when this, I was in rehab, you hold those fingers. I'm gonna break them. Okay, when I was in rehab, <laughs> okay, I had two type of counselors. I had a counselor that was an ex addict. 
that we would have. And then we had the counselors that went to school. The counselors I connected with were the ex-addicts. Yeah. Because they could feel what I felt as an well, ex-addict. Understood. So we cannot feel. I don't care what you say, what you know about. Oh, fine. What you, you can't feel the but pain. Can I say, so so interview right. somebody that can. Like Part of journalism is, this, is actually revealing both sides to the audience. Like well, no, they're not saying she's doing that, even though she's not. Right, but like yeah, that's the problem is that they where say is the that representation they're... of comedy yeah. in this article. Yeah. Like, has she really not. talked to somebody that's on the level that Nimesh is on? Oh no, no, she hasn't taken the time to care about him. She feels she, she's she she But let's that. let's even talk about this. Does she know anything about Nimesh? Has she asked any of those not, questions? No. Has she asked him about how he was raised and what the shit he's been through? Exactly. Right. It's it, no, that, that that's yeah. not the question yeah. anymore. Yeah. We're tearing yeah. down Kevin Hart. This dude did not have the most lovely life when he started. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's all about perspectives. No, I, I mean, and yeah, you can't you're right. grow. You're not allowed to grow, man. It's uh, fucking growth. You're, you're not allowed to grow, but you're also not allowed to make any mistakes whatsoever. Now, say this. He made that mistake. We've all been to colleges and said something fucked up. Um, here's the deal, too. I was at a college one time, and I had uh, a joke where I said, faggy. I just said uh, uh, something like, that's faggy. And I come off stage, and the, the girl comes up to me, red face, almost crying. Like, um, yeah, you really offended some of the uh, kids when you said uh, faggy. Um, I was like, yeah, but I, I didn't mean it like gay. I meant it like, you know, being silly or whatever. You know, yeah. like, I'm whatever. I'm from Boston. And we, and <laughs> Eating I, I, pudding in front of your friends. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> 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 Which is faggy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Don't even put it in front of me, man. Yo, dude, you, you like tapioca? Yeah. <laughs> uh, blowing your gym teacher. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, so anyways, she's literally like, yeah, but they, uh, you know, you really can't say that. And a couple of the students were really offended. And I'm like, didn't you have Dane Cook here last week? She goes, yeah. I go, same crowd, right? Yeah. I go, what's his closing joke? What's the line? She goes, he's a faggot. That was his closer? Yeah, because he had a thing where he does a thing and he opens it and he goes, That's he's right. a faggot. That's right. okay, yeah. I go, did anybody have a problem with it last week? The word faggot? No, but it's the way he, it's him. I went, exactly. Fuck off. Do you know I did? Fuck you. Because if it was a comic that they liked or whatever, it's, 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 it, Patricia used to say it all the time. What's good for you is good. That's yeah. it. What's do good think, for you is good. Do you think Trevor Noah would have got away? Trevor Noah would have absolutely got away with that joke. That was like absolutely got away with that joke because she's there's black. A, there's a lot of people that would look at you. Can you can say fucked up shit about pretty much every everybody you want as long as they're they don't like oh they're cool with those people you know they don't it's not them you know this is. This they're is not the problem. You came to our fucking thing and we were having a great and then you said this joke. Here's what should have happened. Hey, that joke really, we didn't, you know, we, okay, you did what you did. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, we don't want that. Okay, great. That's happened yeah. to all of us. Uh, I, I'm sorry. Misunderstanding. We thought you were going to do this. You did this. It's a misunderstanding. I know the joke wasn't that crazy, but it did offend a couple people. Not all of us. Most people were fine with it, but just a couple people. So we're just going to end it. Great. Sorry about that. I, I, I didn't mean to do that. He's a nice guy. He's not out there hurting people's feelings. And it's gone. No, it turned you into let a it, show. You let it, it turned go. Into a I got show. written up in. The girls came out with microphones. Yeah. I got written up in College Magazine. I what? He, he's a better person than I would have went. I would have started going off on each one of those girls. That really? Came out with a microphone? They came out with microphones? Instead of what? Oh, they were going I thought they were gonna do snap battle. They came <laughs> <laughs> Snap Battle That's what they called the first original version when you it, were it young was on comedy. TV. <laughs> it was on TV, Snaps. Yeah, it's so funny too. They like you know you're saying something offensive. Didn't even try to teach him or help him or you were just like fuck him. Let's kill him. Yeah. Hey, wait a second. No, yeah, let's when kill I him. started comedy, I've been doing it 34 years. Yeah. Okay, I know comics above me that have been doing 34 years. And if you tell me when you make it 34 years, then come talk to me. What but are you listen talking to me. about? What he you said when I started Ricky comedy, for? he was saying I'm old. You, yeah, you are. are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> listen. Ricky, what listen. is it? Double my age. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> you're right. And I've sustained. I said so, you're listen. consistent. God buddy. damn it, I know. Listen, listen to me. We listen, stopped I giving you story. I don't think we, we weren't paying attention to him for a second. This <laughs> is a temper tantrum. Oh, I got a good story. <laughs> oh, go ahead. 
<laughs> I was doing a college. <laughs> yes. So they said, come in. It was when Harvard opened. <laughs> I was doing a college. Right. right. Well, I took my <laughs> college. I took invented. the state co chair. Uh, uh, so they said, do some material and then talk about recovery. So, do my whatever I was doing on stage is like. I'm joking with a girl, whatever. I'm not going to do anything, you know, You whatever line, you uh-huh. know. Yeah. Uh, next thing you know, I'm written up in College Magazine as some, like, creepy guy or something. Like, yeah. they, they gave me a write-up in the college, you know, the yeah. college that goes throughout the country. You're done. No, I got more work. I, I, I <laughs> This was years ago. Oh, here, I'll tell you this best story in colleges. The best. I got to a college. I had a recorder then. I said, is there anything I, I love, can't do? Ricky, I love his recorder was this big. <laughs> what I have a can, recorder. I had, a, I had it slung no, over my shoulder. I had a lady there that typed. So <laughs> I had a recorder, and I said to the lady before, and I had, a, is there anything I can't say? She said, say whatever you want. There's no restrictions. Just do what you want. Did my show. She calls my agent and goes, he was a little dirty. I have it uh-huh. on fucking recording. Her saying, yeah. "Do whatever you Dude, want." Dude, I, I went to. I <laughs> went have to, a question. <laughs> <laughs> he walk up. He presses record. Yeah, I press it. Yeah, you what hear are it? you talking? <laughs> <laughs> it's, you hear the yeah. fucking wheels turning? <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Dude, listen. I've. You know how many colleges I went to that they were like, <laughs> they were like, um, okay, say whatever you want. Fucking, I go up and say it. All of a sudden, you know, you see like two girls get up and just leave. I get it. I get it. I understand that people get offended at colleges. Comics say fucked up shit, but it's it's you know it's it's something that happens. You, you shouldn't you shouldn't want to fucking take somebody's life away and try to ruin them. Not Marty's college. When we used to do that, you could do anything up there, dude. I bombed up there one night. I said <laughs> something to a black chick in the front row, and <laughs> I don't know. I murdered like three times. Yeah, I, I, I went up with Norton, and I was like, I was going up in front of Norton. I was like, I'm gonna kill. I, I tried to improv some shit, and it was she had something in her hair, and I was like, yeah, I, I don't even know what I said, and it was like, what? And I was like, eh. <laughs> I just fucking panicked. Do you still do and college? Then, and then I, yeah. I almost bombed. I was almost, almost fucking bombed. Not I, almost. I, I heard you did. I, I I pulled it up at the last second, literally the last. But second. this is how the, these kids sat with energy and like screaming. This, you yeah. know, <laughs> they're sitting like this. Oh yeah, they're, they're all like, like that. You I know, mean, not all colleges. Some some of them are incredible. I yeah. mean, I've done I've done some colleges that was just like set up amazing, but for the most part, it's just like I don't know, man. I I, I did NYU this can I, year. Can I stop for one yeah. second? Did you bring up a uh, 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 ivory recorder? Yes, yeah, Rich's recorder. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he does here. Yeah, it's funny. It's funny. It's almost like a play on words. <laughs> God, I hate you. God, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> Okay, Ricky. <laughs> no, I did NYU this year, and I was really nervous about doing it based on yeah. what everything that has yeah. been going on. And the kids were actually really fucking cool. So it was, it was. Look, and I'm not saying oh, we can't, we we can't do what they do to, uh, we can't do to them. Not most of the kids are great at the colleges. Most of the kids want a funny show and can uh, can uh, decide what is really bad and what's not, and understand. All right, he's trying to be funny. That's a funny joke. I get it. But some kids are so fucking sensitive, they shouldn't go. They shouldn't have it. Or they should, like Becky said, handpick, go over yeah. everything that this person's going to say so that you don't have to worry about it and you're not going to embarrass somebody and try to end somebody's fucking career. You know? He's trying to be funny. That's what we try to do. And we have to go to the fucked up places and the weird places to do it. You know, not all of us have fucking puppets and not all of us are crystal clean. But Life sucks. Life is hard. We all of us have fucked up things, and we think fucked up thoughts. And to, I'm sorry, but that's usually the funny shit. What I think I, you, me, you, and Florentine should do a college. I would. I, I wouldn't do a college with you in a fucking. I would never do a college. Why? With you. I know how to tone it down. <laughs> Patrice once said it is one of my favorite quotes, but it was. Uh, it's pretty much. Uh, I'm gonna probably butcher it, but it comes in the way of uh, a uh, a joke. A joke can't be unfunny if it's never told. Like, and it's just like it, they're all coming from the same place. But yeah. unless it's said out loud, you're yep. never gonna know. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, you know, it's you know, you know, it's, just, it's it's ridiculous. But it, when are we gonna stop? It's like the, you know, two two things I want to stop doing in, in the next couple of years. I want check spots Breathe, to be I hope gone. It's breathing. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> it's just mean. It's not even. <laughs> it's like I, he wants me to die. My, well, my mom just lost a earlier. husband. Now you want to lose a fucking eldest me. son? You just said that to me earlier. <laughs> because nobody likes you. <laughs> <laughs> All right? And you're closer to death. You're 62. One. Yeah. All right, whatever. 61. All right. Bobby goes, we feel bad. Yeah, you, you go. go. It's, it's like, well, like yeah, time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we knew it was. Uh, he made his uh, mark. Make sure my kids get my stamps. Yeah. <laughs> I'm leaving you in charge. Thank you. <laughs> Write that down on the paper. I like to think it's on the fridge. Yes. <laughs> I just think <laughs> what everybody's getting is <laughs> just sitting in the kitchen. <laughs> I, I just think that if 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 Chechbot needs to go at the comedy clubs, stop yeah. it, stop it, comedy club owners. We have to do it. No, you don't. You're lying. You're lazy. You don't have to do it. Tell your waitress, se- send the fucking host back up to do eight minutes while the checks are being done. Stop it. Most checks are credit cards. People aren't going to leave without their credit it's cards. Fucking it's unbelievable. Stop it. I told them if the this weekend, don't do it, and they didn't do it. If you're a comedy club owner, you need to knock it the fuck off. Stop it. No check spots. We need to start, as comics, we need to start telling them, no, you're not doing that. Because they do it because we allow them to do it because we're so scared to not not have, fuck it. We need to just say no more check spots. Figure it out. Comedy Cellar does it. A lot of clubs do it. And you can figure it out. I've been asking for people not to do it. And they're like, and they've done it. So figure it the fuck out. I don't care. We have another show coming in. You have an hour. Work faster. Do whatever the fuck you got to do. Check spots. You're literally dropping math problems in front of a crowd that I just yes. spent 45 Five minutes, minutes getting. Yeah. 45? I've been up there 20 minutes and they've dropped them. Whatever the fuck it is, They leave boss. faster. Why does it always get a bad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's good. That was good. <laughs> Uh, get those checks out right now. This guy's losing them. He's already, I help him pass them out. <laughs> yeah. He's already sitting on the piano. <laughs> so anyways, and I think that we need to start st- <laughs> We need to start sticking up for each other. Kevin Hart, you know, I mean, I don't like him anymore. I actually but- just got asked by, <laughs> I, I just got asked by NBC to come on and do a segment about him. Uh, you like, should. I, I, I don't do that. I like what? I want to go on there, but I don't want to be dragged into his shit, you know? Like I don't want to do it. Let me, I'm going to get myself in enough shit. Can I talk, you, can I you, fucking can you, I, I sh- Can you give him Voss's people. number? What? Give him Voss's number. Oh, that'd be fucking great. Can you just go in as me, hat backwards and everything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, I got no, stung by I'm bees. Not, not, not anemic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you saying? I'm allergic to shellfish. I'm sorry. I'm a little fucking chubby. <laughs> Listen, uh, <laughs> I think <laughs> the pot roast calling the hamburger chubby. Oh, sorry. Right, so we're gonna late. end the show. <laughs> <laughs> Seven fifty p.m. You got nothing. You got nothing. <laughs> you got nothing to gain getting late. Out of that. Seven fifty p.m. Can go on. No, NBC. That's, that's where I'm at right now. Because you got like, nothing to gain. No, I really out don't have anything to gain. Because out you'll of give your game. opinion. And that's not the opinion they want to hear. And that, it's, it, but that's, Vice did it with Norton once. Norton sat there with that. No, they he, did it on but, Kwame El Bell show. But he did and, it and he won. And he won. And uh, she. Yeah. No, he won because he went in there. He, Norton. Is Norton is not a bad person. No, not at all. And that's and why he won. Smart, though, and he's but, very smart. We're very you're smart. Have these you just have to be truthful, man. You don't. You just have to be real about what the fuck you're saying. And also listen, because sometimes the other people make a point that you're like, oh, "All right, I get that," but it's called a conversation. It's called you know uh, having dialogue with each other, and it stinks because it's all one way. It's all text. It's all on Twitter. It's all on. I, we need to stop being. Twitter has to go. Oh, I've been off it for you. Fuck Twitter. I, I use it to promote once in a while, and I'm out. I don't fucking. I'm not sitting there trying to make some dickhead have. That was a good one. Fuck off. But you know. But everything breaks down to what is it on their political side or is it on their political side? It all breaks down but to at politics. At the same time, uh, they're making liberals not want to be liberals. Yeah, they're liberals pushing, are throwing each other under the bus. People like are, it's crazy. Yeah, but it's not. They're pushing them into the center and over to the right. I'm telling you, it's. I used to. I was a. I'm a Democrat. I'm a registered Democrat, and I. I sit there and I hear this shit, and I'm like, I'm out. I want nothing to do with you, and that's how you're gonna get Trump elected again. What the I fuck don't think is he's gonna wrong? get elected again? But it'll go to another Republican. It, it's. It's sick. It's sick. Anyways. Uh, pay, pay, well, runs. everything coming out with uh, Cohen. He's fucked. PayPal. We. I don't want to get into that. PayPal. <laughs> excuse me. In. Uh, 
PayPal.com. You always say going to the mic. Listen, PayPal, <laughs> PayPal.me <laughs> slash YKWD gifts. Please go there right now. Yes. If you can donate anything, uh, whatever you got, a dollar, five dollars, you don't have to donate much. We're going to, I tell you, me and my wife are going to spend uh, a ton of our own money. We're going to buy a bunch of these. We want to get hundreds of these little activity packs uh, for, uh, I think it's Melissa and Doug activity packs for children in the hospital. Being in the hospital sucks, especially when you're a kid. There's nothing to do. You're in your freaking room. You're strapped up to something. Being in the hospital at holidays is even worse. And it's not like you can just go in there and visit people and, and hang out. I'd love to. You can't. But you can do this. You can help out and know that you did something good and you made a kid happy for a couple hours in a hospital somewhere by going to paypal.me slash ykwdgifts and donate what you can. Uh, and also go to patreon.com. Uh, I'll match so whatever Rich puts up. I'm you will. up 100. You put it up 100? No. Yeah. Oh come on! Are you, you're, you're making I'm him pay the hundred. I'm not giving you that hundred. <laughs> I'll give it to you. You can give it to them. Oh, what do what I owe a hundred for? That we made a bet on the Lewis Gomez fight. Okay. <laughs> 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 I got nothing to say. <laughs> why did I bet? Why did I bet against? I bet against Lewis because I just wanted to. No one was betting against them. We just wanted some action. Just wanted action, and this gambling addict got me. You brought came up to me. You brought you came up to me. Hey, uh, this week I'll be in Doylestown at the Comedy Cabaret Friday and also Saturday. Also sleeping there. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> if you want Saturday. an order, I've go to the back and hey, knock three times on the window. I just work levity, and I took yeah. the hotel Thursday through Sunday. It's an hour and a half from my house. What hotel? Nice hotel. Which one? I took the uh, Renaissance Marriott. Were you at there Sunday? I came home Sunday night. But I was there Sunday. You should have called me. You were flying back from San Diego. I didn't think you'd be home on time. Oh, all right, whatever. We so got a, we got I, a tree anyhow. Sunday and everything. What's that? We got a tree Sunday. It looks fucking great. Oh, fabulous. Uh, <laughs> so can't connect with this you. Friday and can't. Saturday, Doylestown. The best. Uh, and then uh, the 28th, 29th, I'll be at the Tropicana Atlantic City. Mm -hmm. And I have a new bio on my website. <sighs> Can I see it? Go is it because of me? Because I read your old one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. his old one. I read. I'm if you punch go, this one up, but this one. If I you want to read his old it. one, go to my Patreon and watch the live from the shed with Voss. I read his old bio. I it was fucking hysterical. God, what is it? Rich is an American. Is an American? No, why? I don't know. American Did Bonnie comedian. make you put that? <laughs> He's a dirty American comedian and actor. Well, I, 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 I take out American and put a period after comedian. Okay. <laughs> Um, has he has over 100 television pairs. That's not true. I got easily. I can name them right now. Please, at least 100. You can't name the president that you got the mail from, but you <laughs> yes. can name every can, single uh, 100. <laughs> you name 100 fucking TV shows you're on right now. 100 TV appearances. 50. You want rounds. me? To, you want to bet the 100 right now? Are you going to do tough crowds like one show forever? That's 35 right there. Yeah, but it's only three. <laughs> but it's 35, only three TV shows no, you've been on. No. 30, 25 Joy Behars. That's 60 right there. That doesn't count. Okay. Yes, it does. The TV appearance. Yeah, but it's what you count one show as a. No, no, that, you don't. Dude, that's like me counting the nightly show for every single show. True. If you done. did, but if you did, if you did let, if you did, uh, no, what's his made, name? Just made a great point. You made a great point. I was a correspondent there, so therefore yeah, yeah. I, I've done over 100. He, he, yes, you have on television. You've done over 100 appearances. Yeah, but you haven't done a hundred unique appearances. I never said they were unique. Do you see unique <laughs> up there? The crowd. Do you see fucking unique? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wear your headphones because you're not getting any of my jokes, you fucking asshole. I heard asshole. you. You said what did I say? You, you didn't do any unique appearances. All right, good, you heard. All right, so uh, four Comedy Central specials. You didn't do four. You want to bet? Go, I don't, but go ahead, tell us. I did two of my own specials. Hours? No, they were back then half an hour. When I two half an hours, I did the tough crowd special. You did and two I premium did comic blends. Comic anonymous special. You did two premium that blends. That was awesome. No, no, not premium blends. Two half an hours. Okay, I'm not kidding. Comics anonymous and the tough crowd special. Okay, that's four uh, specials as well as HBO Showtime stars appearances. He produced and started an award winning comedy movie, Women Aren't Funny, alongside Bonnie McFarlane, Chris Rock, Rosie O'Donnell. You can't put that Chris Rock and Rosie O'Donnell just because they were in the movie? Uh, alongside them. Yes, you can. It's a bio. It's not the fucking... I'm not... And many more? Why would you put and many more? Because there were many more celebrities. I'm not going to name them all. But you're supposed to be the celebrity. <laughs> 
about 50. <laughs> he is a two-time Academy Award-winning writer. I want to fucking punch you. A regular on Sirius XM Radio and a co-host of his uh, hit podcast, My Wife Hates Me. Uh, me that, what is it? Pace Magazine named one of the best podcasts right now. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> when? When? Like today? Like right now? Like what does that mean? What does it matter? It's a bio. No, it's like, just a- he has also appeared on What the Fuck with Mark Marin. The Joe Rogan Podcast. Twice. Twice. <laughs> Why'd you say once? Guys, we fucked. You never put my show on there? It's not big enough. He's been sober for... T- <laughs> <laughs> You're breaking your anonymity. That's one of the fucking no, traditions. No, it is. I didn't say I was Attraction in Attraction rather than promotion. No, you're wrong. You're 100% wrong. You're yeah. wrong. He's, he's been sober uh-huh. over 32 years and good at golf for 20. Do you write this? Yeah, I'm going to punch it up. Okay. <laughs> right, why don't you unpunch it? I think it needs unpunching. I think you punched it up And too I didn't much. break my anonymity. I didn't say a, a 12-step program. All right. Well, there you go. And, and, and when you put that, I get calls from conventions to do conventions. All right, cool. Uh, Ricky, what do you got? I got um, the end of the year, I'm going to be in Boston with uh, Pete Davidson for New Year's, and I think we're doing Jersey and Long Island the days before. Oh, cool. And then... Um, yeah, man. I don't know. I, uh, I don't know. All right, what's your website? No, I just have Instagram, what's Ricky Velez. Instagram? Just Ricky Velez. It's yeah, everything's there. We post everything there. And awesome. We have a lot of shows. I think I actually have a few colleges in the new year, but yeah. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, going That's downstairs, great. doing an hour. It'll be fun. You're going downstairs now? Yeah. And doing an hour? Yeah. Where? Cellar. You have an hour tonight? Yeah. Oh, my God. If you guys are listening live, get the fuck down here right now. Oh, we're sold out. We're oh, pumped. Yeah, sweet. it's going to be right, great. fucking awesome, dude. Uh, look at you, man. Look at you with the kid. Oh, uh, he's awesome, dude. It's it's really... I was scared at first, but now it's it's straight up. I was petrified, yeah. too, dude. Oh. And, the, and it never goes away because now you're just going to worry about him, you know, you know, being all right. Yeah. You know? But it's a beautiful thing. Enjoy your life right now, man. It's fun right now. Is, it's cool right now. This is the I'm best. I'm enjoying it. It really is, man. Enjoy it. Enjoy your days. Look, he's a good-looking kid, too. He's good not fucking guy. ugly. Oh, well, let's not get carried away with other people. <laughs> I mean, there's, no, there's no need. Are you, are you, are you, did you kill a dog for that blanket? What is that? Well, uh, no, my, my wife decorates the apartment like we sell cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, Velez, great to have you on, dude. Dude, thank you for having me on. I love coming on. It's fun. Oh, good, man. Last week, I'm glad that didn't happen. Dude, I'm I, glad I, you came on like, this I'm week. so happy. I really thank you because I was going to come in hot. It was going to be ugly, and I didn't want to be that. Yeah, and thank Voss, you. thank you for coming on. But, oh, I hate that hoodie. I, I hate it. What? You can take this off. <laughs> <laughs> Becky, what do you got? Hey, I'm at Human Places on Insta, the ease of three. Uh, well, why are you so fucking sweet? Amazing pictures uh, on there. Amazing She's pictures. She's my favorite. She's great. What do you got there, fucking um, White Mike? I am um, at Mike Cabrusi on all social media, and I got a podcast called A Little Time that you can download wherever. You can, you can download on Laughable. On, you can laughable. find them on Grindr at around 1130. <laughs> <laughs> that's just... Oh, I have a new podcast. That, that's a thing that's What happening. is it? Uh, it's me and Carly Acolino on that yeah. Betches po- uh, company that... Uh, what's his name's on? Jared Freed? Yeah. Yeah, they just took us on. It's dope. We oh, just good. We just shit on the internet and oh. people on it. Oh, Sweet. good. Yeah. Good for you, dude. That, that's the girl from... Uh... Uh, girl Code. Girl Code. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Awesome. Good what do you got, Mike? At Mike V. Suarez on Instagram. Uh, New Year's week, I'll be in San Antonio at Laugh Out Loud. Uh, the 26th, 27th, I'll be headlining those two days. I'll go in last. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Will you Amen. stop? The fucking guy's starting to make it. Do those, so. are, those are my door deal days, so hey, you know uh, come what? out to those, please. Listen, The other club closed down there. Yeah, I was there for the last week, yeah. Listen, man, if you guys are fans of mine, go see Mike. A door yes. deal means this. That means the more people that show up, the more money he makes. And this guy needs money. He just got dumped by his wife. <laughs> Is that what happened? We got divorced. We're okay, they're divorced. I'm sorry. She took him for everything. Beanbag chair. <laughs> <laughs> She's actually now opening for Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a stamp collection? <laughs> uh, <laughs> a bean bag. 
<laughs> oh God. Anyways, go check him out if you're around there. He's Please funny, support man. him. Every you know, time I see him work, he always does well. Listen, man. I, I, the best part about your fans, my my fans, you guys come out to the shows. Uh, this week in San Diego was awesome. Uh, thanks for coming out, all you uh, listeners. I fucking love you so much. And uh, make sure you go to uh, my my Patreon channel. Become a member. If you're not a member. Just go. If you listen to the show, just go. Whatever you can do, a dollar five, whatever. The stuff's up there. You get the podcast free. I do a bunch of shit. Uh, I'm filming way more now. I got the camera, the the editing, the sound. I'm figuring it all out, so I'm doing way more shit. Um, and it, it's going right for you. What are you doing? <laughs> I promote the fuck out of you. What did I this say? is the problem with you. I this is why it. you're not a good person. <laughs> you're not a good person. It's like I'm. T- I, I literally. Real, I let you promote. <laughs> you're just. Ba- on, you're I'm bad. Hungry. You're b- then fucking. What do you want me to do? Just give me five seconds. Go ahead. Wrap it up. I'm trying to, <laughs> but I got five people. I got to promote their shit. I go last. Oh. People have already hung up on the. F- they stopped the fucking podcast, and you're first. I did you first. Thank you. I promote you for all you fucking first. Thank you. Don't be so upset. <laughs> you they fucking almost hit doing. Bonnie last week. What's that? What are you <laughs> telling people not to be upset? <laughs> you almost hit Bonnie on <laughs> air. <laughs> no, Literally on better. air. Fucking... I've never hit a girl in my life. The camera's better be rolling after we cut this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've never hit a girl in my life. Have, Have you? you? Oh, it's not up there, but next on uh, the 19th, your Fat Black Pussy Cat show. Oh, yeah, so. Fat oh, Black dope. next Wednesday. Hey, I'll be in town next Wednesday. Yeah, you're not on it. Come on. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on. No. He's going to get a hotel and everything. I'll be in town next Wednesday. All right, I'll put you on it. Oh, thanks. Rick, you come down and do a spot? I would love to, dude. So That'd it's be you, awesome. Ricky, you. <laughs> Maybe you too. All right? Um, all right, cool. So are you on next week? Yeah. Fucking okay. Ricky kills on stage. You, you want the, the fucking, he just, he's, he's very likable. Mm-hmm. He's very likable. Mm-hmm. Kills. There's something coming. I'm waiting for the punch. Right, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm complimenting you. Every Thank time you. I've seen you, you kill. All right, Thank so check you. it out, please. This week, Poughkeepsie Friday. The vibe. Yonkers. <laughs> <laughs> Yonkers. Yonkers Comedy Club, uh, Saturday night. Two shows. That's at the Ridge Hill. That's five minutes away from my house. I'm so excited. <laughs> and then uh, Spokane Comedy Club and Tacoma Comedy Club for New Year's. Uh, that whole week, I'm there. I love those two clubs. I didn't do the Spokane yet. I did the Tacoma. The kid is an unbelievable kid. It's one of the greatest green rooms ever. And uh, the club is amazing. And the family owns this thing in Spokane. His mom and dad. So I'm going to be up there. So Seattle, uh, show the fuck up, man. Let's go. Spread the word. Buy the tickets. Spend New Year's with me. And then, of course, I'm coming back in. Um, I'm a lot of... Go to RobertKellLive.com. Uh, Zach, what do you got? Zach, the new guy. You guys are the best fans of the world. Enjoy your week. You know what, dude? You've been listening to the YKWD Podcast. Thanks for listening. Now go back to your shitty jobs. Shitty jobs. Shitty jobs.